yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives and what? Nine, Nine to fives. fives. But we are still married to the games. Sorry, it wasn't really a participatory thing. Sorry, I was just trying I thought to you were myself. totally asking. I was like, yeah, I really this is brand new. I get to finally get join in. in. Chris totally mm-hmm. hesitated to. He was like, yes. uh, n- 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 nine it to fives, is. maybe? Could it be? Nine to fives. <laughs> Sorry, I overstepped my bounds. My that was man. amazing. It's your boy, Gabe Patillo, with who? Nine to five. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I ain't falling for that again. <laughs> Tim Router. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Ed Placencia. Oh, Lord. And Chris McCracken. <laughs> of course, and as always, we are talking games and life, life and games. Thank you guys so much for being here. It's a what? Night, <laughs> night, night, oh, yeah. night, yeah. night, oh, night guys, show. Again, oh, again, Lord. that was just supposed to be me by myself. Again, on that one. Oh, oh dang it. Oh. supposed to j- be just me. Anytime it's a night show, we all we all <laughs> chime in, man. You know that. You know better than that. I'm totally joking. <laughs> totally oh, kidding. Mm. It don't matter. Oh. It's our own podcast. We can do what we want. We can exactly exactly we can do what we want. That's right. Oh shoot, man. Oh, Chris. Yes. <laughs> Start off. How was your week? Last week. <laughs> yeah. How was your week last week? Fill us in on the last two weeks of your life. All right. Well, real quick, just want to make sure that uh, this is a little stamp right here. I'm I'm going first, Gabe. So just remember that later <laughs> on. All right. <laughs> well, maybe if it's interesting. I know, right? <laughs> Whoa, so, snap. So this week, this week, we've been sitting back. We've been at work anyways. I've been editing like crazy because we've got, we're starting a video shoot, a new video shoot next week. So we've been nice. scrambling to get all this stuff in, at least in a good spot. It doesn't have to be done, but it's got to be in a good spot where people can start reviewing it and be like, yeah, I like this or no, change that or this needs to be more blue or whatever the heck they're You don't get say. any of that. Oh, I get some of that. Don't you worry about that. It happens. Man, they've got bad taste then. For sure, it happens. I've seen your pictures, and I'm always like, that's a 10. That's what I'm saying. Nice. But they're like, well, you know, I guess they don't want me to have, you know, be too high on myself. They're like, no, we got to knock him down a peg or two. Just make sure he stays grounded. So, you know, exactly. I Exactly. You did that. win the lip sync battle. So, I mean. Exactly. Oh, right. I mean, come on now. They got another. They're still jealous. He didn't just win it. He crushed it. Exactly. Yeah. And they probably saw you in that wedding suit. Oh, they probably did. You know, I made sure them pictures were out there. I was like, what's up? Here it is. Just so y'all know, this is what you I did this weekend. <laughs> you, you, even sent it, you even sent it to the milk carton people, like, saying you'd gone missing, yeah. just so more people could see the picture. Exactly. Right. Be like, put this out there, please. Thank you and very much. All right, cool. They're like, isn't this, isn't this you? You're like, D- just put it on the milk carton, would you? <laughs> at the top it says, have you seen this guy? And at the bottom it says, I know, right? <laughs> man that, i gotta remember that for the next time Ooh, i love sure. that <laughs> um, so I'm, just I know, gonna, right? I'm gonna fast forward a bit to the weekend on friday so you know ed and i have been talking a lot about the overwatch league and we're hooked, no, we're hook no. line and sinker i know what, I what know. is this overwatch we're, we're all about of? that it's this amazing stuff that's multiplayer so you can go to sleep Tim. Yep. Um, it's 99. amazing. <laughs> and we've had a lot of fun with it. So here in the Dallas Metroplex, because we actually have a team, they had yep. a watch party. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, I'm all about that. I got to go check out with this. But not only that, they were giving out, you know, free shirts and, you know, you could win hats or whatever. So like, okay, free yeah, merch. Man. And then I get to hang out with other people who are excited about Overwatch League. So I went there and it was a fun time. Stacy went with me and our friend Katie went with us. Mm-hmm. It was amazing time. The Dallas what was won. the Korean to white people ratio? Right. <laughs> there was actually, it was all white people. <laughs> I mean, was it? Yeah, I mean, not all. I mean, there was, there was definitely, there was other people, other races as well. But like, I didn't see an Asian person there at all that I can remember. Granted, oh, it was a little good. bit, it was I a little bit of a bigger supported. venue. So it's not like I saw every person that was there. There was probably, that's the other thing is I was expecting. So they said like the first hundred people that go will get like a free t-shirt. And I was like, okay, cool. We'll show up a little bit early, but no big deal. And then they messaged like everybody, I guess, who had a reservation and they said, just so you know, we've opened up a second and a third venue for the overflow. And I'm like, overflow? Oh, snap. What are you talking about? So I got there and at the main location, which is where I went, because they did have indeed the second and third overflow venues, there was like, I don't even know what the capacity was of the building, but it had to have been at least 200 people. Wow. That's awesome. I was not expecting that at all. I was like, oh, we're going to totally get these free shirts because we're going to be like number 75 and they're not even going to fill up the place. I was dead you wrong. You know what's interesting? That doesn't sound like that. I, mean, I would I would think there would be a lot more than that, to tell you the truth. Really? You know? I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, I didn't I expect know. that much for the over. I mean, because granted, like whenever you watch the Overwatch League, there might be 
depending on when you watch it and what day of the week it is, it might be, you know, 100,000 people or 300,000 people watching. But it's like, that's across the entire world. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I wasn't thinking yep. there'd be 200 plus or whatever people at a venue for a watch party for a team that's been struggling and not been doing all that great. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I, yeah, I was you guys stick by it. your teams, though. Dallas knows how to stand yeah. by their teams. That, that's that's for sure. And the, the cool thing is, is that we got Dallas got their first win that night. So it was extra yeah. hype. And I took a couple of videos. Wait, and they I, haven't won not one thing till the other night? Yeah, that was their first win out of. So they've oh, had. They've all, this was the third week. Each week they play two matches. So they had done four and they were 0 and 4. Oh, Okay, gotcha. So this is their them, first though. win, and who'd I was they, like, oh my gosh. Beat? And the crowd was, uh, they beat, who did they beat? I don't even remember. Uh, That's right, because they trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember. I know the next night they played Boston, and they ended up losing, but they went all the way to the overtime match, and they like nice. fought them tooth and nail, which Boston's turned out to be one of the really good teams uh, mm-hmm. in the Overwatch League. A terrible, but it was it was awesome to just be able to hang out with people. It's kind of like you know I've never been to E three down on the showroom floor when like a, a crazy game gets announced and it's super crazy hype like Gabe mm-hmm. has done before. This is the closest I've come to that outside of like you know a sporting event that's more traditional, you know, like a football or baseball or whatever. So it was really cool to see the atmosphere and to be there with the group and to just see how hype they were. I took a couple of videos, I posted them on the Discord. Um, and I, th- I think I may have put them on Twitter as well. So that was a really cool event. I was really glad that Stacy and Katie kind of humored me and went with me because they just hung out and chatted the whole time. They were happy to be there, but it was very obvious that I was way more into it than they were. <laughs> but they humored me and it was a lot of fun. Um, the rest of the weekend was just kind of, you know, even keeled. Wasn't no, nothing crazy happened. We didn't do have anything that we had to do. Stacy's going out of town this coming weekend. So we'll be taking a few things or doing handling a few things here on the last little bit before she has to head out Sunday morning, I believe. So she's not going to be in town for the Super Bowl party, which I'm going to be going to later that evening. And I'll talk about that next week Um, on the gaming front. I've been playing a lot of Overwatch, as you might expect. That's kind of like my staple, as you could say. (laughs) And the other game that I jumped into, there was a PSN sale. I don't know if it's still going on at the moment, uh, but they had a bunch of different games on sale and I grabbed um, Hellblade. And I grabbed oh, yeah. uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. Oh, oh nice. nice. There you go. Since cool. I had a, a you nice, you know, like two, three hour window, I was like, hey, Stacy, I'm going to go play this game because I knew What Remains of Edith Finch was only about maybe two hours, depending mm-hmm. on, you know, how quickly you go through it. So I went ahead and played What Remains of Edith Finch. I played all the way through and it was a really cool game. I'd highly recommend it, especially right now yeah. if it's still on sale. I'm not sure if the sale's still going at the moment, but if it is, definitely pick it up. I feel like it was... Ten dollars because it's on sale, and then I think there's a an additional ten percent off you can get if you're a PS Plus member or something like that. Hmm. It Sick. it was definitely worth the price of admission. Um, it's a cool little story. So basically, Edith Finch she goes into this house, and inside of every room, all these different members of her family have died. She's like the last one alive, and and each one of them lived in a different room in this house. And when you go into this room of the house, there's like a little note area, and you kind of learn a little bit about them and and. You learn how they died, but it's not like gory in any ways. It doesn't show them dying in a weird, crazy... It's not a horror in any ways, but Mm -hmm. you kind of learn their story and kind of how they kind of met their end, if you will. Um, And every single way they do it, the game is all in first person, but every way that... Well, for the most part, there's a few parts that are a little bit third Mm -hmm. person-ish. But every single person, the way that their story is told, if you will, is completely different. Yeah. And it's really, really cool. Yeah. I I definitely like, like on the very first one, I'll say this because it's the first person that you, you've kind of meet. It's this little girl and she's kind of telling a story. I kind of thought it was like a dream that she was having. Um, but she basically like, she turns into a cat and then she turns into an owl and then she turns into a, <laughs> a, a, uh, a shark, which I, the minute I started playing the shark, I was like, uh, cause I know Ed played this for the channel. I was like, Oh my gosh, I bet Ed hated this part. <laughs> and then she turns in just to this monster with some Do you tentacles. you play her a shark in water or out of water? You were in water. Well, you start out of water and you end up in the water and then you do all so your Ed, sharkiness. Is, it, is a shark as scary out of water as it is in water? No, I was happy because the shark was out of water and I was like, yay, we're, it's dying. There you go. Yes, <laughs> it's I can run dying. from it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it to anybody who hasn't played it yet. Even when it's full price, I 
I want to say it's only like twenty bucks, maybe. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that it's right. it's worth twenty dollars. You you get depending on how much exploring you do. I, I could see it taking two, maybe three hours max. Mm-hmm. Um, I oh, probably okay. paid about an hour and a half, two hours, I think. But I knew it was short, and I knew I kind of want I wanted to make sure I got through it with this entire play session that I was doing. So I maybe went a little bit quicker then on the average Joe might go, but definitely recommend it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and then outside of that, I'm going to be getting to help late, hopefully sometime next week. Like I said, I'll talk more about it next week, but uh, Stacy is going to be going out of town soon. She's going to be out for about four or five days. So I feel like somewhere in that area, I'll be able to jump into Hellblade and, and kind of see what that's all about. Nice. So hopefully mm-hmm. I'll have a little bit more to say about that next week, but that is it there for me, go. fellas. Nice. nice. Timmy brother. What it do? Piper's topic of the week. Uh, and it's Mimi. It's uh, Lauren's mom. <clears throat> she uh, had a hysterectomy this morning. She mm. uh, oh, last shoot. week, last, or, I, I'm sorry, wow. two weeks ago, she was uh, complaining of some cramping and uh, some bleeding. And so she Ooh. went to her doctor and <clears throat> they ended up doing a, a, a DNC, which is like a scrape of, of the uterine line. And Mm -hmm. they found some cancer. So, no. um, Hmm. So, what they're doing, what they did, I mean, kudos to to mom because she was all over it. Like, as soon as she's she's like, something feels weird. So, she immediately went to her doctor uh, and they just got everything wrapped up. So, within a two week period, all this uh, went down. So, um, oh, geez. So, fun medical fact for you the, the uterine lining is supposed to be approximately four centimeters in width. Hers mm-hmm. was 16 centimeters in width. So that is a huge indication that something's going on. So when they right. when they did the biopsy and everything, it did come back as cancerous. Nothing, it didn't look very aggressive, which is good. So mm-hmm. the procedure is to do a hysterectomy. So she went in uh, bright and early this morning. Lauren's still at the hospital right now. We all, all wow. went, <laughs> we went down to see her. She's doing great. She comes back home tomorrow. And, uh, and okay. so now we just wait. Um, the doctor uh, said that when he uh, opened her up, that everything looked good, that there was nothing on outside of the uterus and, 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 and there was no cancer in the lymph nodes or anything like that. And they ended up taking um, two of the, well, I guess Piper's showing up. Well, what's wrong? Okay, there we go. All right. I'm sorry. So, yeah, so I'm trying to get her to bed before the night show. And um, clearly that didn't work out. So <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It, it happens. Right? Yeah, it dad. totally happens. So why don't you go over on the couch and lie down and you can just listen. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway. So, uh, so yeah, so we'll, we'll just wait for the next week to kind of find out what's, you know, if anything else has to happen. The doctor seemed really confident that nothing else needs to happen. And so now she just has to recover. So poor thing. Mm. She's just, she kind of went through it today and she's just a little, she's really groggy and really nauseous from the anesthesia. The procedure only took about an hour and a half. And uh, man, yeah, it's, it's just been nuts, man. The past two weeks is just kind of really like, okay, but she was great. She, she you know, she just jumped right on it and this was all wrapped up and pretty much solved within two weeks. So kudos to Mimi for putting all that mm. together, which is yeah, wow, cancer is for the freaking birds. Turn around, right? man. It is, it is insane. So yeah, so that's what, uh, that's been going on, uh, at least today. And, uh, and so, but all in all, man, it's been, it's been a good week, a uh, very busy week. Um, in two hours in central time, it's going to be my birthday. So that'll be fun. Oh, what? That'll be fun. Fun oh, as we birthday <laughs> birthday show. So it's <laughs> gonna be show. it's gonna be fun tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night we're going to the Predators game. They play the Kings. So we're gonna go to Bridgestone Arena as a family and just have a good time. I got I got some cheap tickets and nice. uh, and so yeah, I'm excited to go. It'll be a lot of fun. So yeah, uh, um, yeah so that it works kicking my butt. So there's a lot of been a lot of late nights and uh, it, you know it's just one of those things. It's how it goes. But mm-hmm. on the gaming front, man, it's just, I was talking to Ed earlier, it's just all Assassin's Creed Origins. I battled a war elephant today, and nice. it, was, it was freaking awesome. It was it was tough. It took mm-hmm. me seven or eight tries, but I finally got it. But this game just keeps sucking me in more and more, and I've been playing for a month and a half, and I can just keep going for another month and a half and having so much fun. 
And I'm just, I'm being kind of, uh, not strategic, but the completionist in me, like as the main missions like take you to places, I just kind of, before I even get to the main mission, I go around mm-hmm. and explore and there's yep. question marks everywhere and you just get loot. And so uh, I'm almost capped at my level. I'm at 39 right now, halfway to at 39. So I'll be at 40 soon. Uh, and I haven't even finished a lot of the main missions yet too, but nice. it's, it's, it's really great, man. I'm just, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this game. I, it's completely rejuvenated my love for Assassin's Creed. I can put Assassin's Creed three behind me now, uh, and knowing full well that, that, that what they're doing now is setting the tone for, for really great games to come with this franchise. So I'm, I'm mm-hmm. super excited. Hmm. So nice. that, yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much it for me. That's nice. a roller coaster right there. Yeah, it's, right? it's been a it's been a roller coaster. But everybody's like we weren't, you know, when we when we heard about it, we kind of figured, but we were all in, in good spirits and it was more of like, all right, let's just get this taken care of. What's what's the process? What what's happened with her is a very routine uh process and most of the time it's usually you're in the clear once that's done. So Good. So yeah, nice. yeah, it's good. good. So know. she's she's doing well. So she'll come home tomorrow, which is nice, and we'll go see her and I'll just keep everybody updated and thank you. Yeah. All right. Nice. There you go. Eduardo. Yes, sir. What goes on with you, brother? Uh, well, kind of like how Chris mentioned, uh, Overwatch League still in full effect. Uh, yeah. When's that done? A long time from now. It's not done until I think the regular season ends sometime in June and the playoff oh, wow. ends in July. It's like a six Sick. month season or something like that. Yeah, man. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Um, I was able to. Uh, sympathize with Chris a little bit this week because my London Spitfire and his Dallas both lost to Boston this week. So, ah, it ooh, wow. was, uh, yeah, it was, it was a, a great week for uh, uh, for upsets in the in yeah, the it, was. it was so cool to watch. And uh, just who did I end up going with? You went with Jeez. Los Angeles, the Valiant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't remember That's right. half the time neither. I can't remember either because I feel like I picked one, but then I dressed my Overwatch character in a different one. <laughs> That's right, you did. I, I re- last one I remember you picking was the LA Valiant. I feel like the the skin you bought on your Overwatch stuff was the Soul Dynasty. I think, if I remember right, was it the Dragons? I don't think it was the. It dragons. was the Black and Gold. Yeah, that's oh, Soul, the Soul Dynasty. Dynasty. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Which they got well, upset this weekend as well. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of upsets. So, so. no team is undefeated in the league anymore. Right. So I'll, I'll, I just want to act like I'm part of the thing. Oh, there you are. Go. Oh, act man. Like what it. an upset, man. Shoot, man. The Soul Dynasty that I've been following. Just, oh, uh, man. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I heard they, they, had, they had a capital <laughs> L handed to them. They, All right, well, they are the team to watch, though, man. That's for sure. So close. So close. So close. Well, maybe I should start watching them. <laughs> 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 Sorry, man. Uh, go ahead. Oh no, you're fine. Uh, Sarah left uh, for uh, a cruise that she's teaching uh, some fitness classes on this week. Oh snap! So Woo! she left on Saturday, and I've been batching it up and uh, just kind of kicking back. Uh, today, I decided I was going to be productive and went to the DMV to finally get my Indiana driver's license. Huh. No, yeah. I know. So it was it was kind of nice just because I went online and it was like, here's what you need to bring in. If yeah. you have a previous valid license, you don't have to take the written test or anything. So I went in and cool. they were like, oh, you've got to take the written test. And I was like, what? oh, shoot. I was like, oh, no, I didn't look at anything. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why did you all of a sudden when you checked beforehand, why did you have to now do the written test? I think because their website has not been updated, maybe, or it's uh, just it's, it's 97. Right. And I failed. <laughs> no, oh, you didn't. No, Ed. no. Honestly, like if I had to take it now, I'd probably fail too. I don't remember well, that crap. And it was. What kind of questions were they asking? The ones that I missed, it was kind of nice because it's the Square root of 78. I know, right? <laughs> they showed you at the end with the questions you missed and the right answers. And all of them I missed were like. What's the speed limit on an urban interstate? What's the speed limit on a country interstate? What's the oh, speed man. limit on a rural interstate? What's the speed limit? Whatever the sign says. That's what, that's the speed what limit I is. thought. I'm like, whatever the <laughs> sign says, I'll do it. And then. Oh, man. I was so mad. The, the, I think I actually know those answers. What? Well, and I, I, didn't, I didn't even realize. Uh, and one of them, again. Urban's 55, right? 
It, yeah, Urban's 55. Urban's 55. But that was the first interstate question I got. So I was like, oh, the speed limit on the interstate is 70. Because I just, it's right here off the thing. <laughs> yeah. And then it was like, I was like, oh, oh Ed, no. Dang. So, dang it. And then one of the questions oh, 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 I missed, oh, man. I'm going to, I'm going to, as the best of my knowledge, I'm going to repeat it to you guys and let's see how you would answer. Okay. Okay. I, I want to go first. I want to go first. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because Gabe might know the actual answer. I don't, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who doesn't know how to say things right half the time you, or read. You're in an accident. Uh -huh. And as a result, uh, there is uh, people are either trapped in their cars or uh -huh. they've passed away. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. As the driver, your responsibility is a run. <laughs> right. A remove all vehicles from the accident site. Okay. B, remove all trapped and deceased people from the accident site. Okay. C, call the authorities as soon as possible. D, all of the above. Wow. It's going to be something ridiculous because of the way you framed it. It's I probably going to be something stupid I like D. Say it's but all of C the above. seems like the obvious answer to me. Right. Right. It's, uh, it's all of the I above. I think it would be D. It's all yeah, the above. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. it's got to be D. I'm like, yeah. I'm in charge of removing trapped people from cars? I don't have the job <laughs> of life in my trunk. And removing the damaged vehicles or, or separating or right, deceased whatever. Or deceased bodies. Good luck with that. Like, one thing I know I is that... you got gloves in your trunk. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, like, right. if there's an accident... Dexter. You wait until the authorities get there to move someone. If they're trapped in a... Exactly. I'm not going to just yank them by yeah. the hoodie and start tugging. No, man. You wait I for... I don't know, you, Ed. I think, like, if somebody... If you accidentally hit a family and a woman screaming in there and she's trapped, you're going to help her. But if she's trapped, like, if the car is so dented that, like, her feet are crushed under it and she can't get out, I can't do anything about that. Oh, well, yeah, you can't do well, that. Well, here's a, this happened to me two years ago. Um, we were driving. Really? You killed someone? You really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I killed There's someone. There's the story. <laughs> All right. Everybody Piper's thought topic of the Tim week. was just the nice, calm guy. And here <laughs> he is. Particular manslaughter. <laughs> No, um, we, when we were living out GTA five on the real streets, of <laughs> we Franklin. were driving I down to the man. We were driving down to the Birmingham Zoo and it was raining and we literally saw a car completely fishtail and flip on its side in the ditch. We pull over the woman leg was like broken and like it was going the other way and she was stuck in the seat. Oh my God. And she no. was stuck. She was stuck on the seat in the seatbelt. So a bunch of us, we came, we came together. Somebody called the cops and we were just like waiting. We didn't touch her because God, for what if there was, if you try and move her, what would right. happen? You could, you know, her spine could be jacked up, you know, something else. And her leg was already jacked up. So we gave her water. We tried to keep her comfortable. We put a blanket over the jacked up leg because it looked really gross. And, and she was white as a ghost. And we did not touch her. That's really weird, dude. You would just call the cops because EMS, they, they actually had to get the jaws of life to, they actually had to cut the hood open. Uh, we ended up leaving after, after a while. But as soon as the authorities came, like they completely took control. Like I wouldn't think that yeah. you wouldn't carry anybody out or touch anybody yeah i mean well, every time i mean unless unless the car is like on fire and i feel like it's going right. to explode right i'm not moving a person because it's no. like what if i move them and it's like oh we could have saved them but you move them and now their neck exactly. cracked in seven more places and so that we can't exactly it's like right. no nah, i'm not doing yeah. that and now we're suing you and yeah exactly, exactly. for trying well, yeah and then uh, I got home and I was like, okay, I guess I'll have to look because I have to go back tomorrow and, and take the test again. And I was like, that is I'm hilarious gonna, I'm that gonna fail to like a so awesome. 15 year old. And I know, it's, right? <laughs> it's such a small town that I was the only one in the DMV, which was kind of nice. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But, oh, that is nice. But now they're going to talk about you in town. Well, and all of the workers heard me when it, the thing popped up and was like, you failed. I just went, really? <laughs> 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 and I got up and I waved and I was like, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yo, that's amazing. Oh, that's that's like amazing. straight from a movie scene. Straight but then I came home scene. and went on their website and downloaded their driver manual. And it's like, hey, if you're in an accident where people are injured, don't touch anyone. Don't you're move right. them. Right. And I'm like, Wait, what? So... Now oh, I know. The, no way. The yeah. Take the book with man. you and when it says, no, uh here, right here <laughs> on the manual, page 22. <laughs> You're, Do you think we could please have this reenacted by Larry David? Because I think he oh, would really <laughs> he would totally crush that. 
him going to a DMV and failing the <laughs> right. test as a grown adult. Exactly. It'd just be really boom, boom, boom. I've never even seen Curbed, and I know he would be perfect. Curb your oh Edwardianism. I know, right? Oh, that's but, amazing. Uh, or Portlandia or something like that. We need. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, we need, need to get yeah. them on the scene. But uh, other than that, uh, Sarah being out of town, I've just been, uh, I, I played through Assassin's Creed Origins, the DLC, finished that. I level capped again. So nice. <laughs> just nice. To see. Rocking it out, dude. Yeah, man, you right. are crushing that. Uh, and then I went through and I picked up Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 by Why? Tom you, and Wait a second. Why? I know. I kind of thought the same thing. I was like, huh? When he told me. Wait a second. Are you, no. Wait a second. you have nothing else to play? Is that what? What's the reasoning there? <laughs> but you said you didn't like the first one. Why on earth would you buy the second one? Because it's Telltale. And I thought, oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. And I thought, you know what? They got you. Your trust runs deep. My trust runs deep. Yeah. And... You know, I, I didn't have anything else brand new to play, and I thought, oh, you know, I can probably burn through it pretty quickly. And you know what? I liked it. All right. Uh, yeah. That's a nice I, change of that. events. Yeah, I liked it more than the first one for sure. It was a much better story. And mm. uh, it also, the guy that does the voice of Soldier 76 in Overwatch is in it. And to hear him... In Soldier 76's voice, be funny was really funny to me. <laughs> oh, that would be really nice. cool. So he used the same voice? Exact same voice. And then Paul Rubens is in it again, and he was hilarious. And it was, I really had a good time. They did a lot. Do you think they got new writers? It felt, because I remember in the first one, it's five episodes, and it felt like at the end of four, it was done. And then the fifth one was just kind of like a tacked on by itself yes. kind of weird thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely did a story arc this time that spanned all five episodes and they just got better at telling th that story for whatever reason. Nice. Um, Sick. So yeah, That's it was great, man. I was really happy. It was really enjoyable. And I don't know, you know, we know nothing about Minecraft, but one thing that I did pick up on, there were two characters that at the end they were credited as himself and herself and huh. oh that's awesome two of the voices are apparently two of the most popular minecraft youtubers and oh, no way that's wow sick. yeah and so telltale that at all yeah so telltale grabbed them threw them in uh, i think three episodes they had little side characters that were in there and i was like that's really cool that they did that i thought that, that was, was awesome. really cool yeah that is cool so yeah kudos and they did a great job they didn't sound like uh people who had never done any kind of voice acting before they, they 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 held their own so it was pretty cool to 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 see that um i think sometimes when you're an entertainer you can float you might not be the best mm -hmm. but you're not going to feel out of place right. as if yeah. you just grab somebody I off agree the street with that. yeah 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 they did a good job with them so they knew what to do with them and, and it was cool um and then I also started, uh, again, just because I, I'm kind of going through my backlog, I re-downloaded Thief and yeah, <laughs> really? started to play that. And uh, it's all right. You're getting all stealthy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, so, that's yeah, some stealth was... right there. Thief, that's yeah, stealth. Yeah, Thief is all stealth. Yeah, yeah I should be playing yeah. that game too. I've heard, uh, Is it good? I've heard good things about it. How, what do um, you think? Yeah, so far, I'm, not, I'm pretty, uh, I, I think I'm still in chapter one, so I'm, it's pretty... Uh, early on into it but um it's cool i'll probably keep playing it for a little bit and just kind of see where it goes and what happens for some reason i'm thinking it's a short game i don't know why i'm thinking that but um i don't i, I don't think I'm it's thinking super you're right. short no i'm thinking I, it's like 25 hours i thought oh really like that. that long wow yeah i mean i i i wouldn't consider we'll see. it short but yeah. No, I, I thought it was like about ten hours or something. So. Yeah, I th I th I don't know. I I don't know the actual number of what it is, but I I don't think like to me a short game would be like I think Hellblade is is said to be around five to seven hours depending on how you play it. Oh wow! I, okay. I'm pretty sure Thief is longer than that at least. Oh nice, so, nice. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And then uh, picking up uh, things that I had given up on in the past, I also picked up again. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter, that game that uh, infuriated me. Yeah. And I was about to say, what in the world is going on? Are you just going through like a... <laughs> Eduardo <laughs> is bored. Uh, Eduardo yeah. is, Ed is so bored. bored. <laughs> that is correct. 
And uh, I finished that game, went through, played the, played it in its entirety, and uh, it was all right. I liked the sleuthing part. I liked the puzzle solving part. When they try to do action, the controls just get horrible. Fortunately, mm. in a lot of spots, they let you skip. And when I was recording it for the channel, I was like, no, I'm not going to skip. I'm going to play this and figure this puzzle out. And when I'm not recording, I'm just like, yeah, skip. You know, and just kind of go <laughs> yeah, on. Exactly. Uh, I know Let's get to these right. credits. Exactly. So, uh, Let's see who played himself and herself. A puzzle. <laughs> skip. Right. <laughs> Look on exactly. YouTube and go. Yep. Hey, by the way, uh, so Thief, main story can take 10 hours, 47 minutes. Main story with extras, 23 hours and one minute. Wow. If you're a completionist, 45 hours, 14 minutes. Wow. Look Whoa. at that. Oh, and Ed's a strong completionist. So. It I think depends Ed, on the game. I think yeah. you'll be in at like the 20 hour maybe mark. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of cool to know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, just kind of going through the backlog this week and uh, it's been fun. And I uh, finished The Inpatient as well Ooh. on uh, VR. Ooh, VR. And I, I think Gabe could do that one. Really? Um, uh, all right. Because cool. you bring your, you'll bring, one of us will bring our headset to 300 and he'll give it a go. I'm telling you, because it's not about jump scares. It's just about telling this story. And okay. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a creepy story and it's a creepy setting and you think there's going to be jump scares and that's what's creepy about it. But at the end, I was like, right, I could do that again. Uh, so yeah, I I, uh, I got to the end. I saved, I think, three other people. Um, and uh, yeah, out so of was, how many? How many can you save? Uh, I'm gonna say at least maybe out two other people. I'm not sure who is savable, but I do kind of want to go back and and check it out and and make different choices and what have you. There you go. So, yeah. So that's been. Uh, that's, so you're thinking you saved three out of five? I think I'm not sure who was exactly was savable and who was, was gotcha. doomed to, to begin with, but I know for sure one girl I accidentally got her head cut off. And that was yeah. My oh no, <laughs> that happens sometimes. That's gonna be I heard that happened at Disney World this week. What? Did you guys see that story? No. no. What happened? What? Um, one of the animatronics heads fell off oh. in the middle of the song. It was uh, yeah, Ursula right. at Disneyland Ur- on yeah. on yeah Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Yes, Ursula's I saw the head picture of it too. It did look kind of weird. Yeah. And it was the thing of nightmares. <laughs> it really was. There's like wires hanging out. It looks like just her yeah, she's like body neck. language. <laughs> wow. So, no, I got to check that out. That's way better uh, than what I thought you were talking about. At first. I, know. I know. I was like, wait, <laughs> yeah, what so, happened? Yeah, yeah. That would be a Six Flags story. <laughs> Not <laughs> <Right>? Space Mountain <laughs> exactly. again. Yeah. If that happened at Disneyland, that would never make the news. <laughs> right. right. They would suppress the heck out of that story. Yeah. They just <laughs> yeah. go around with that flashy thing that they have in Men in Black. Right. <laughs> exactly. Here, look at here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Everybody, look up there at Tinkerbell at the very top, yeah, exactly. and we're good. Getting everybody for and a, a pixie dust. Day's Boom. Worth, right. Days worth of memory gone. <laughs> That's Will hilarious. Smith is like, I do not get paid enough for this. That's right. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, for me. Nice. That yeah. is awesome. Chris, how was your week? <laughs> Lord. Uh, Mr. Patillo, sir. Mr. Patillo. Yes, sir. Tell us about the tour, man. You kicking it off. Give us all the details. I want to know. Yeah, man. Uh we are in uh Arling wait. Amarillo, <laughs> Texas today. Armadillo, Texas. Yep. And uh which means yellow in Spanish. Um, but they say it very different. That's true. How do they say uh, it? Uh Amarillo. Mm. Nice. And uh, thank you. And that's probably not right, but <laughs> I think it's right. Um, does it feel right? Yeah, it feels right. Yep. Okay. The halfling says it's right. <laughs> <laughs> the Amarillo. The halfling. The muggle says it's right. <laughs> the muggle. <laughs> um, <laughs> the muggle. El, el, el muggle. Right. <laughs> el, el muggle. El muggle. <laughs> that's funny. And oh, that's good. That's really great. <laughs> Love it. Um, so, yeah, we we had our first show of the tour yesterday in Oklahoma City. Uh, it went great. Good. It was extreme. You know, it's funny because everything leading up to the show is extremely stressful. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. Like, 
So we we always go to on these big tours. We always go to the city the night before, and mm-hmm. we run the whole show the night before to just get the crew acquainted with everything. Have them have to set up everything one night and just kind of work some kinks out. You know what I'm saying on load in and yeah and everything like that. We we were uh, we performed where the Oklahoma City Thunder play Ches- Chesapeake. What's it called, Jeff? Chesapeake. Yeah, Chesapeake bank arena yep and so um <laughs> there you go we played there we played there he's making that and name uh up. yeah exactly that's what it sounds like um and so uh we set up the night before and guys i cannot tell you how many things went wrong the night before really it was like wow, almost really? every, i think there's let's see aaron cole uh, Finding Favor, Ryan Stevenson, Mandisa, Danny Goki. So there's five opening acts. Mm-hmm. And I think something needed tweaked on almost all of them, except maybe Ryan Stevenson. Mm. Like Aaron Cole's tracks weren't working right. Finding Favor's lights weren't right. Mandisa's videos weren't right. Goki had some musical things go on. And so it was like, and so, and since I'm like, I don't even know what my official title is. Some people call me executive producer. Like I said, some people call me creative director Mm -hmm. because i'm kind of just really involved with the opening acts um as well with toby and so i'm just running around making phone calls talking to crew trying to see what we can do how we can figure it out and it's just like one of those things where you just if i would have gone into two days ago with dreads i'd still be bald today just regardless (laughs) i'm bald yeah (laughs) (laughs) and so it was just one of those things Mm -hmm. where uh everything's going wrong and you know, I and not to over spiritualize it, man, but I just chalk it up to the grace of God that by the time the actual show came around, mm-hmm. not one of those things went wrong again. Nice. nice. And Beautiful. so the show went off without a hitch. Beautiful. Uh, I think we were running almost on time, which is insanely crazy mm. for us. We're usually by the time we get to Toby, we're usually like, especially on the first night, we're usually like five to ten minutes behind. Wow. Which mm. is which is rough because Toby's show was like is for families and so young kids are there and it's really late and he wants to try to get on as early as he can mm-hmm. yeah and i think we were one minute behind when, wow when Toby oh wow so that's it, awesome it was just yeah and it was so it was just like we were just so grateful man and hmm. and it, it all went good and and i would encourage anybody if you hear toby max coming uh come out to the show man because it's 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 something else i, I feel like we've taken toby's show um, combined with uh, some of the new crew that we've picked up and it really is next level. Like it's, nice. we look like, it looks like, it, we've always looked like a real show just because there's a lot a lot of lights. Oh, but yeah. just to like to paint the picture, we probably have a little over, not quite two times the amount of lights, but we have a lot more lights and we have over two times the amount of LED wall that we used to have. Really? And so, wow. you know, it's just way bigger feeling and, and stuff like that. And I know Chris was talking about um, hopefully being able to come out to some shows. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm just so excited that one of you guys are going to be able to see it just because I'm so proud of it. And, you know, I've been part of the process from picking what the set design was going to be. You know, we have mm. a bunch of people send in set design ideas and we pick from that. And so uh, this guy's design really spoke to me, Toby and Ryan. And uh, and so we kind of like got together with the guy who did it. And we were like, let's make this thing happen. And 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 yesterday we got to see it come to life. And so it was really, really cool. Nice. That's great, That's man. Awesome. Nice. Congrats. Yeah. And, uh, the- and honestly, congrats to you because this is really the first time on the podcast that you've really talked up the tour. So it it, yeah. show, it really shows your excitement and your, you know, so congrats, man. For That's, sure. That is, you, abso- man. that is absolutely huge. And, I appreciate um, that. you know, I'm proud of you, man. I think that's that's really cool. Like you're you're definitely I can already tell you're beaming and this tour has just started. So that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, appreciate it. You know, it's 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 it takes everybody. It's crazy. And of our course. crew guys mm-hmm. are working their tails off. Yeah, I bet. Uh, yeah. To pull this thing off for us. And so, you know, it it's so much of the props goes to them. And so. Uh, yeah, I'm just really grateful to be out. And I think, too, it's something about having so much time off. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is what I do. This is what I do for a living. It's what God's given me to do. And 
uh, I don't feel right when I'm not doing it. And so it's just good to be back out as well. You know what I'm saying? We've had since early November off. You know what I'm saying? I haven't done a show since early November. Mm. And so for it to be the end of January, we're like, I was itching to get back on the road. Of course, I love family time, but I was just itching to to do, you know, do what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, So with that, there hasn't been a lot of gaming just because everything's been just like, you know, slamming and mm. you know running around and phone calls and everything. I got a little Overwatch in a little bit with these guys before I left and tore down the PS4 mm-hmm. and brought it on the road, packed it away. It was it killed me. Ed texted me the night I was leaving. It was like Overwatch. I was like, it's already packed up. <laughs> oh, and, uh, no. Wah, wah. So, um, here's something that's kind of fun though. When we went on our bus. We have an Xbox One on there, which we've never had an Xbox One on. Oh, like wow. it's just part and of so, the bus package. Yeah, just part of the bus package. Nice. And um, and so this is my plan. I don't know if it's going to happen, but here's my plan now. Mm-hmm. So I've I've I want to do Batman through Episode Four, which I nice. finished Episode One today, uh, which was great. Um, I really enjoyed that. You did the first Ed, season do you have already. Any questions about that? No, this is Episode One. Oh, so you're you're gonna. Why only go through episode four? I thought only four were out. Well, there's two on seasons. S- to season two, right? Yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, season oh, two. season two's out yeah, already. Yeah, of yeah. Batman? Season, yeah, yeah. Season one, oh. you could, you could, you should already have because that was on PS Plus for a while. Yeah. There's... Well, here's the bummer. So I, 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 I got it, but like I've, I've told you guys the woes of bus internet, right? right. Yes. So I finished episode one today, and I forget that they don't automatically download the next episodes for oh right right and so on my slow freaking internet right now as we speak it's downloading two three and four nice Mm. grab five as well and i thought it only went through four for some strange reason so i didn't even look at five yet yeah um so okay so that's great so the plan is finish all of batman telltale which i'm enjoying good um uh down with uh falcone um (laughs) did you shake his hand nice (laughs) <laughs> nah, he shake his hand. I, if they would have gave me a slap his hand away option, I'd have done that. <laughs> which was nice because when they showed me on the news later on, which I didn't know they was going to do, and they show him trying to shake my hand, I didn't shake it. So hopefully right. Gotham was watching. Um, <laughs> and then uh, I want to, and I don't know if, how steep this is, but I want to beat Mario Odyssey on this tour. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I, which I started today. You mean, when you say beat, you mean like the story mode or whatever Beat the story. you know because well, here's what's funny about me well it's not funny but i know a lot of people especially when it came to zelda they're like part of the adventure is doing everything and i'm like <laughs> part of the adventure is finding out what happens at the end that's like to me <laughs> right. I, I just want to i just want to beat the game i don't necessarily care about like getting all the moons and and doing all the things i want to beat bowser mm-hmm. that's what's fun for me is beating bowser and then selling the game to a friend who's also going to enjoy well then it. Right. that's interesting because it's even more so I feel than with audit with a uh, uh, breath of the wild. I feel like everybody's like, yeah, Odyssey, the story, whatever. But then it really opens up. So I'm curious to see if you come away with the same. Yeah. I wasn't expecting you to love it kind of feel with Odyssey yeah. because everything, even like the hardest core, like Nintendo, you know, lover has said like, yeah, the story, whatever. But those moons, though, and, and you know, whatever mm-hmm. they got going on. So yeah, I'm very and, curious and, to see your, what you think. And that's great. And I'm glad that people, lo- you know, it's the same thing with Breath of the Wild. Everybody was like, oh, I love doing all the, the things in the shrines. And I'm like, I got just enough hearts to get the Master Sword, then went and beat Ganon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Um, now, I, not to say I didn't do other side stuff, but I'm just not, uh, I'm not a big let's just go find it for go find it's sake right. kind of guy. Yeah, right. but I, I feel like Zelda built it. Well, I feel it, it's kind of weird to say that there's more story there because I don't know that that's the right way to put it, but I feel like there is more to the Zelda experience if you're just going to try to beat Ganon than I, the impression I get than there is on the if you're just going to go beat Bowser. I feel like there's and more see, I, on the Zelda and right, side. And I, don't, I, don't know, hmm. I don't know that yet, but yeah. definitely in Zelda, they reward you in the end for doing things earlier, gotcha. which I'm guessing will be with Mario as well. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So I'll have to ask somebody and see, hey, what do I really need to do to make this Bowser experience not 
crazy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But I didn't go into the Ganon fight OP or anything like that. But I did do all the Divine Beasts, which help you beat him in the end. You know what I mean? Um, mm, yeah. But the Divine Beasts have great story that goes along with each of them. Anyway. I'm just curious if when you get done with Odyssey, since you're pretty much just focusing on the story part, if you're going to walk away from it being like, man, that was awesome. If I had beat it, game of the year. Or if you're going to be like, that wasn't all that much. Right. You know, I'm curious what your response is going to be. Here's one thing. The first place you go to is like a place called like Sandtown or something like that. And uh, I, I, I <laughs> don't know the original. Sandtown, where we <laughs> exactly. play with sand. What up? <laughs> <laughs> I did end up, by the time I was leaving there, which I'm about to leave there, I had gotten all the moons there. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm. but it wasn't like uh, necessarily on purpose. It was just like you're yeah, kind of yeah, going yeah. around doing stuff and you're like, oh, there's another moon. Oh, the it, the controllers are vibrating. I have to do a jump stomp here. You know what I'm saying? Right. And so, you know, I kind of just got him like that. Gotcha. Um, so, you know, so we'll see if the the pseudo completionist in me takes over or not. Yeah. 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 Um, nice. So want to beat Mario Odyssey, the story at least, and want to beat Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, Which you I do. know could be a tall task. Yes, you Because I know that's do. like probably 20 something hours on the short side. Yep. And then uh because the Xbox One is on there and I didn't want to bring mine because it's huge. Um right. well mine is actually it's the hub now for my internet and everything. Yeah. I forget that I traded in my big one for the X, but um I want to beat uh Quantum Yes. Break? I was Break. hoping you would say that. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. It's 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 sitting at home when I saw that we had an Xbox One, I was like, Well, Guess I gotta go get Quantum Break when I go home. Yeah, and you do. Bring it out, Sharon. Yeah, you do. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited about Horizon just because I have to. <laughs> I pretty much need to start it over. I think I was like four hours in, and I'm like, yeah, I'll yeah, just man, start just it start it. Right. Yeah, do yeah. do it again. Yeah. So uh, that those are my plans, and I feel like I can handle Telltale and Mario at the same time. Like, kind of play mm-hmm. Batman during the day and Mario Yo, in sure. the bucket night. Yep. Um, because they're just so different, but to try to throw horizon in there just feels a little daunting to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a long tour. You got time. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So that's my goal. I, I know I probably won't meet it because I'll end up wanting to hang out with Sammy all the time and going to video game stores during the right, day. Right. Right. Um, but that's, As that's my, that's on the docket. Mm. That's awesome, dude. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so yeah, we're going to continue heading out West. I fly home on Super Bowl Sunday. Um, Sissy flies so out on Super able- Bowl Sunday. Interesting. <laughs> oh, well, maybe we'll pass each other in the air. Mm. There you go. And uh, I'll wave. Hey, Stacy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Stacy McCracken. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Funyun? What is it? Yeah. Funyun. <laughs> I'll Funyun. just yell that Funyun. out. Funyun. <laughs> uh, and then um, we need to start start drifting away from Chris's nicknames. I always don't know if I'm supposed to say them or not. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, and so, yeah, man, out here on tour, if you hear I'm coming to your city, uh, say what's up to your boy. I'm going to see um, hopefully the Stapletons this weekend. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, man. And you know what Stapleton stands for? I forgot the ambassador is back. Yeah, and the uh, the the young historian in the young historian, the one that's out there. In uh, yeah, that's right in Salt Lake City. Yeah, yeah. historian junior. Yep. <laughs> historian awesome. Jr. Yep. So hopefully I get to meet all those people. It'd be we'll give them a awesome. big old, give, the, give our street team a big old hug from us. Yeah, we definitely will. We definitely, and I think in March. I don't know. I think in March I get to see Lim, the bad game. Oh, nice. So yes, you do. It's going to awesome. be a, a tour of family. I, that's what's so fun about doing a podcast and it being everywhere is that like I get to see family the whole time. Yeah. That's so, so cool. That'll be, it'll so be awesome. Jealous. I'm really excited about that. You should be. I am. <laughs> um, you should be until, until uh, June. There you we go. Have episode 300. Yeah, oh, Mark man. it down the 9th Cannot and the 10th wait. of yep. June. Episode 300. Ooh. People are already kind of. People have already booked like their accommodations. People are already booking rooms. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, man. Wee. That's great. Get on it like that, gone it. It's never been this Act early like... that we had stuff like that happening. Exactly. Go ahead and put your notice in. Let your job know you're not going to be there Friday or Monday. Mm-hmm. And come kick it with us. 
right? Or just come for the weekend, whichever yep. you want to do. There you go. Whatever you got. Um, and I whatever you can do is fine. Yeah, exactly. I think that's it for me. Nice, nice, beautiful. Tim Router. Yes, sir. You got it. Mm-hmm. Well, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's get into some new That is so right? loud in a hotel. Can I just say how loud that is in a hotel? <laughs> you just woke up your neighbors. Nice. Like, yeah, I feel like people on both sides of me are like, what is he? What is that is married he? to the games? <laughs> <laughs> I know, That'd right? Awesome. Can I go knock on the door? Yeah. Oh, no, they're recording. Never mind. The Chubby Ninja is uh, not in here, is he? <laughs> <laughs> All right, new releases this week. Call of Duty World War II The Resistance. Ooh. Mm. DLC action is out. Um, Eduardo, yes. Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, the Diaries of Agent Silent Death. Yes, it is. Come, come Does down. that mean something to you, Ed? Well, the DLC came out this week, and I went to play it, and it didn't save. It's as if I never played the game. No. What? I don't know what happened. Can you not save from the re-download from what the cloud of or the something? Year is that well, it, it was a silent death then. I know, right? All three of the saves are from like... Uh, January 14th. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh, man. That's so, dumb. So I kind of got disgusted that don't feel and right. did not play it. <laughs> there you go. I know that's right. Yeah, they, but I will. Dang you, you Cloud. Uh, sure. Seriously. Right? That's messed up. Um, you we should also send have... some burnt coffee their way. <laughs> yeah, you should. I, I agree. I agree. There you go. You could also Done. put on some. You can also put on some uh, fighting gloves and play EA Sports UFC three for the PS4, Xbox One. That's out. Yeah, he can. Mm. <laughs> All right, uh, for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC, <laughs> Railway Empire. Ooh. For the PS4, Double Dragon Four Classic Edition. Nice. Ooh. Uh, Little Nightmares, Episode 3 for the PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Hmm. And along with that, Nightmares from the Deep 3, Davy Jones for the PS4 and Xbox One. All right. Mad Carnage for the Nintendo Switch. Night in the Woods for the Nintendo Switch. Um, we did have uh, some oops, and uh, I need to apologize too because yeah, you do. some of our international brethren was, was discussing NPD and um, I forgot to mention that the NPD is for the United States only, and it wasn't ah. worldwide because for for fwah, 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 fwah. it wasn't worldwide. Because, it's a three hundred five, three hundred five. Um, so, <laughs> Un, dos, tres, dale. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, baila. Uh, anyway, so I don't like yeah, it. it is. It is only for the U. It's only for the U.S. Uh, in international because one of the things they mentioned was FIFA 17. I'm sure completely crushed in the in Europe in the U.K. Oh, totally. So, yeah. So big time apologi- uh, apologies. When we do NPD, it is for North America. So I apologize. They're all about the soccer. Maybe this year there. at the end. Maybe at the end of the year, does NPD do worldwide? I don't, I don't think that no. it does. I think I it's think U.S. It's, century. I don't think it does either. U.S. Yeah, I think it's definitely yeah, U.S. Is the end for national? Probably. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there you have <laughs> it. So Discord, Discord, Mark <laughs> Boucher, Princess Toadstool, and Princess Peach are the same character. She was renamed Toadstool ah. in the English manual for Super Mario Brothers, but then they switched her name back to Peach, which is what it always was in the original Japanese. That's, That's interesting. Crazy. Like why I I do uh, it wasn't I, until I saw that that, that thing I, I was like, "Oh yeah, you know what? I do remember when it was a I was a kid calling her Princess Toadstool because it, it had lost hmm. See, left my mind a like a long name. time ago." Yeah, it's like, "Why would they yeah, do I that?" I just thought they were two different people. Yeah, so did yeah. I. There you go. So Thank you, Mark. Which is weird because like Toadstool is such a harder word than Peach. Yep. And it's yeah. not like we don't have why peaches in peach? America. Like I know what a peach exactly. is. Princess Peach. Yeah. Or the color. Yeah. There it is. Number eight on the YouTube, Hugh, Peach, <laughs> <You> Peach. <laughs> Princess Peach. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mark Boucher, for bringing that up. Hashtag Princess Toadstool Historian. There you go. Jeez. Uh, M- MLS Chop. 
Sorry for the MTTG oops, but I wanted to clarify the Netflix analogy during the Xbox Game Pass discussion. Netflix is more like Spotify than most realize. They are, quote, Netflix originals, but most of these are not owned by Netflix. Consider most of them just Netflix exclusive. Netflix spends a lot of money licensing original content, content very similar to Spotify. And yeah, huh. that's but does that Spotify re- right. license any original content? Is there anybody that's like you can only get this on Spotify? I don't. I mean, I'm sure there's something, but I don't know, that, I don't know much right. that there is. There might be a few albums yeah. from a few people here and there. Yeah, but outside of I, indie I, artists, I, I like bet that's not much the case. But I think yep. they, I mean, they are, he is right in that they, I know Netflix spends a ton of money in licensing to, to gather original content. So they may not necessarily own the property, own but, they, it. Mm. but they do license yeah, maybe it. Not. And, and, but you know what? Kudos to them because they're, they're definitely bringing some, some quote original content, which is great. Yeah. So I applaud them. I call it a draw leaning towards Chris's side. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, From my side. It wasn't a contest. I was just... Having a conversation with someone who can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying because I was the one who brought up Spotify. Yeah. And you were the one who brought up them owning content. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's it for me. Back to you guys. Nice. Mm. Chris McCracken. Well, it looks like that the Nintendo Switch has hit one heck of a milestone for itself. In 11 months Kinda. on the market, it has outsold the Wii U. So in less than a year... It has outsold the Wii U what it did in its entire lifespan. So, granted, the Wii U was that to me <laughs> that, that almost more underscores how much of a failure the Wii U is than how much of yep. a success the Switch is. Not to say that yep. the Switch is not a success because obviously it is, but that's still it's, it's still like the fastest selling. You, you've got to you've got to you've got to hit all these milestones when you want to get to you know where as high the lofty ceiling that I'm sure Nintendo want to get to, and this is just the first peg to knock down. All right, we passed that rung. We're gonna keep on going. Going up, so kudos to them. They're sitting right now at around 12.1 million switches in the wild. No, four. I thought it was 14. Point one. Oh, excuse me. No. Yes, 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 yes. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, 14.8. Because the Wii U sold 13. Yes, 14.8. <laughs> that yeah. that was in the first nine months. Was the 12.1. So they they jumped it up from there. So yes, you are correct, sir. But yeah, that's a good gotcha. kudos to them. Obviously, I mean, I feel that's great. I feel like. The Wii, the Wii U was such like a debacle for them. So confusing. I feel like so there was there's always been and will be forever so many Nintendo fans that this this doesn't shock me. I'm not saying it's not impressive. I don't mean to like take away from their success or anything like that. But to me, it's like well, yeah, there's like Nintendo fans out the wazoo that were just begging for something cool to finally have because they didn't want the Wii U. It makes total mm-hmm. sense to me that they would be blowing out these records. And I expect yeah. them to continue to go on. I mean, assuming we'll see what they can come with well, first party coming next year and the year after. Well, but. And that's what's weird is that, I mean, I think you, I think, and Nintendo has to be pleased that people choose to tell this story, even though number one, everybody sees it coming. Yeah. Number two, it's not really that big a deal because yeah. if they didn't beat the Wii U would really be the bigger story. Right. But that's the, thing that, true. the thing that we really need to realize is, is that in its first 10 years is not, I mean, 10 months, it hasn't been out a year yet, that it's the fastest selling console of all time. That's the crazier part. Right. Really. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Good I think that's you. more impressive than beating the, the Wii U. That's like Star yeah. Wars coming out and saying like, you guys, this week we sold more tickets than Biodome ever sold. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, or, or Tim being like, Topic of the week, I whooped Piper in a foot race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> Jeez. That might be next week's topic. We, we'd be like, right? Yeah. And yeah. you want a blue ribbon for that? <laughs> we hope you did. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, so like I said, I've been I've been going crazy, so I yeah, apologize yeah. that I've might not done my homework as I uh, should have. Um, but rumor has it, mm. and this kind of goes along with what we were talking about last week and what um, we were just talking about a second ago. Uh, Microsoft, there are rumors floating around that they are wanting to c- a- acquire EA, Valve, or PUBG Core, mm-hmm. which is like Corp. I guess you would say it when you talk about corporations. Corp. Um, and that would be insane if they bought 
either EA or Valve. Yeah. That buying would be EA is a nutty. Yeah, I mean, e, yeah. EA or Valve. Actually, buying them outright, not that they don't have the money to do it, but that's that'd be ridiculous. That would be And, and they say the, the rumors alone have caused EA's stock price to jump. I believe it. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, geez, like, I mean, if that goes EA? Right? <laughs> Right? That would be crazy. Microsoft is like, if these are true, they're like doing stuff. <laughs> like they're making moves. Yeah, they are. I, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of, and it kind of talks to both Tim's point that he was kind of bringing up last week with this whole Game Pass thing. It's like, yeah. man, they might have something up their sleeve mm-hmm. where all of a sudden they get a dump of <laughs> exclusives. Yeah. And e- e- I don't see EA going exclusively Microsoft. I feel like that'd be crazy, but yeah. it would be like such a huge money maker for Microsoft mm-hmm. if they did own them. Look at all the titles they have. Holy cow. Oh. Well, yeah, and all the titles that do amazing too. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, though, I will say like if they were going to buy... Granted, it's not like if they bought EA, they wouldn't make a ton of money off it. They would, because, you know, FIFA alone would give them so much money. But it's like, man, EA does not have that greatest reputation. Like, overall, it's like, just from a face value standpoint, it's like, maybe look towards another direction if it turns out to be real, you know? I mean, like... Yeah, but they sell games. Nobody... You know what I'm saying? Like, the games... Mm -hmm. It's not like they don't have a good reputation, so people don't buy the games. No, they still... They still it's their sports games, games that keep them afloat them. for the most part and 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 buy yeah, them right. I think you're before right. yeah. before yeah, I think you're Andromeda right. anyways. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're so right. So we'll have to see. Again, I'm not saying it would be a bad business decision, but man, from a like just a consumer, like, hey, what do I want to see standpoint? Ah, I don't want to see that. Not because they're Microsoft, but just because it's like the more independence we have throughout, you know, different companies that are their own thing. I'm cool with them making exclusive deals with this develop or this console manufacturer or this company or that or whatever. And like timed exclusivity or full out exclusivity for X, Y, Z game, but to own them outright, because EA is a big player. It's like, if they bought them, that's a huge, like just yes, pool of people that are not going to play that game anymore or can't because not everybody can afford to have, you know, multiple consoles or whatever. That's, Right, Man, yeah, they would tough. lose half their half their market share would be lost, but it'd be a great play like for them business wise. But that would be oh, yeah. really bad for the community. You have to you have to remember though, just because they buy them doesn't mean that they they'd go fully exclusive with their titles. You know what I'm saying? We have to remember they own Mojang as well. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, you know, the I mean that's Minecraft. True. And so it's not that it means they buy them and so that's the only thing it's going to come out on i do feel like i do feel like minecraft was a bit of a different situation only because it was already on everything before microsoft had a hand on it i feel like they could Mm -hmm. totally because like if you look at the playstation side they're the only ones who have a legit licensed baseball game i could see microsoft totally pulling the like and now we're the only ones who have a legit nfl game or something like that so like oh my i could totally see that being a Hmm. thing Hmm. And that would be a great that decision on their crazy. part. That would sell consoles easily. Yeah. <laughs> this just in Microsoft bought, bought purchases Naughty Dog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, right. Man. Sony ain't letting go of that. Right. No, that's never that. happening. No, but you know what? With with this though, think of all the distribution possibilities too, with because EA dis, you know distributes so many different games and has so many different networks. Uh I don't know, man. It, it and I mean, it's not that do, EA... Do you sacrifice market share? Do you sacrifice market share knowing that half of your audience might be playing PlayStation? Yeah, but that would be uh, so temporary. That'd be so temporary that it, it'd be easy to look past that as a non-factor. Yeah, yeah I think so. Because again, like based on all the Game Pass stuff, I already put Microsoft ahead for next gen. Whatever you consider that next gen to be, like they're yeah. the ones ahead at the moment, in my opinion, and Sony's got to play catch up. Yeah. And that that would totally only if good games come out. Exactly. But if they own all of EA, <laughs> there's a bunch of good games <laughs> on their service. Right. Good They're good gonna be games. right into the Game Pass. You ain't gotta pay for it outside of your ten dollar a month subscription. Right. Yeah, but that's crazy. what's so weird. It doesn't EA have this already. That's another thing that almost in a way, in my mind, just yep. a small degree, but kind of adds validity because obviously EA's already got a really good partnership with Microsoft because mm-hmm. the only place that uh, EA Access lives is on PC and Xbox. 
Oh, is that right? That's I right. didn't realize that. Yeah, yep. it does not exist on PlayStation. It's not on PlayStation. Oh, wow. Or, or uh, as far as I know, it doesn't exist on Switch anywhere either. Mm-hmm. Then it's a, I mean, then that's a good marriage because there, it's already the same infrastructure. So why not? Man, if you combine them jokers... The, yeah, Lord. the question then becomes how, how big money-wise is this purchase going to be? Like, it's going to be... Billions. Bill- oh, yeah. It's it'd got be to be at least like... Three to four. I mean, they billion. bought Mojang for two point five billion dollars. Yeah, they'd pay more they than two point five for EA, and they could easily afford it. So, I mean, out right, of all right. the gaming companies, well, not all of them, but out of if you look at them all, like Microsoft's easily one of the top ones in terms of like war chests of money that they can do. I mean, obviously Nintendo's right, way up there, right. and it's not like EA and Activision are hurting for money either. But I mean, Microsoft could. Microsoft could pull off a deal like this. That's what adds so much like, oh, is this actually going to happen kind of excitement to it because it could legitimately happen. All we know is something's up and it's exciting and that's cool and we just have to wait and see. Yeah. They are definitely... But when there's smoke, there's fire usually. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, yeah. You know, they'll end up... You know, they'll end up buying somebody. Yeah, they're going to... They're going to... In this next year, they will come away with buying one or two at least studios at the very least it's going to happen which, there's no way it won't which is a, what they need to do they need to buy we need new ips from them we need new studios we can't just keep doing the same things over and over again so they're they're on the right path there you go what else you got christopher so um a little bit on the slightly sadder side anybody who's played the mmo or excuse me the uh what are they called moba paragon and if you're a big fan of that game, well, it looks like Epic Games is going to go ahead and have to shut down Paragon. They just don't have enough of a of a follow, not just enough of a following, but they don't have a clear direction on how to continue on with it forward. They put mm. out a statement last week that said, like, you know, we're super, basically in a nutshell, they were saying, look, we're happy to everybody who's tried out Paragon and all the people who've loved it. There's been a really strong community, mighty community behind it. They're just not quite large enough, and we just don't really see a way that we can push this game forward to compete like with the other MOBAs like Dota 2 and League of Legends and really carve out a niche and an audience for us. It's just not going to be viable for us. And the crazy thing is, is that I think Paragon is only on PC and PS4. I don't think it's on Xbox One. I could have that wrong. But it was one of those ones that I know. It's weird because I know a lot of people on my friends list and, and other people that I talk to, you know, just on Twitter and where else that have either played this game or played it like regularly and really enjoy it. So it's one of those hmm. ones But I, even though it didn't like hit the ground running and you hear everybody on the internet talking about it. I heard enough people in my own little circle talking about it. I was like, Oh, I just never really had a thought that, Oh, this game is going to go away. I just figured, yeah, it's going to be on those slow burns and it's going to continue upwards slowly, but surely. So I was not seeing the, the tea, reading the tea leaves correctly, that this game was going to be pulled and say, Hey, you know, we're shutting it down. It kind of took me by surprise. And definitely I saw a bunch of people on Twitter saying like, Oh my gosh, this game was so, so much fun. I can't believe that they're having to shut this down. So it's a sad situation for them, but man, it had a, it had a good run and they, they fought the good fight. They definitely put it up and, and, you know, carved a niche for themselves. It's just, it's a lot of competition, man. It's just going to be hard for them to, to crack, you know, that Dota and League of Legends and those really big players. Woo. Even Heroes of the those Storm, I think, probably pulled a little bit more of an audience than Paragon did. And Heroes of the Storm's like one of the lesser of the big MOBAs out there. So mm. it's sad to see it for them. I I don't I'm not sure if this is gonna actually lead I, I'm assuming there's gonna be some type of layoffs involved with this, but Epic Games is pretty big. I, I would assume that they're going to move and shuffle people around a lot to other projects. Obviously, they've got Fortnite and some other things as well. So, mm. I believe Fortnite's Epic Games. I hope I didn't just oops myself. I'm pretty sure that's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's that they do Fortnite as well. So it's not like Epic doesn't have other projects that they can continue on with. But right, it just sucks right. to see something that people obviously poured a lot of passion into. Not just people who play the game, but people who make the game. Yeah, really. It's always a that's bit right. of a bummer. That's right. That's right. Uh, speaking of not a bummer, mm. <laughs> Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Uh huh. What's that game? Has been out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it it came out in March of last year. Nice, right? It's amassed four million players on Xbox mm. since December. Yep. Wow. And mm. we have to remember, there's not, <laughs> there's not like twenty million Xbox Ones out there. 
No, it's probably it's probably twenty. 20. I think there's like it's probably twenty million. Yeah, probably forty million. You think by now? It's got to be getting close to forty, if not already there. But that's probably around that's right. the threshold for it. Yeah, totally guessing on that. But let's you know, let's say it's on ten percent of all the Xboxes out there. Yep. Um, in just a month's time, and uh, it's raked in <laughs> seven hundred and twelve million dollars in revenue. Wow. In its eight month lifespan. Which, just to put in context, almost equals Overwatch and CSGO combined. Really? Holy smokes. And it's not even officially out, is it? It, it is on PC. <laughs> no. On PC, it's on officially PC, out. On PC, but yeah. not on Xbox. <laughs> not on Xbox, so no. crazy. <laughs> I was like, what in wow. the world? So, um, you know... Uh, Overwatch has brought in 382 million. CS:GO has earned 341 million, and so ugh, it's just, it's mm. just that's just a beast. It's a beast, right? It is a beast that came out of no place. Yep. Because you got to remember, like the way it's worded, it sounds like Player Unknown is the name of the company or whatever because it's player unknown you know because PUBG corporation i guess yeah and then you know oh but, okay. i mean it's like they made the corporation just for this one game they did because wow. it was just part of uh shoot what's the name of that company it was another company and they split it off and like we're gonna make PUBG its own business and call it that they made it its own thing after really? because wasn't it what weren't people yeah i can't remember where some of those guys came from I want to say I it's think Blue Hole from, uh, is the name of the company that was making the game, but I, I get Blue Hole and Blue Point confused, so I could have that wrong. But it was, I think gotcha. it was, if it's Blue Hole, let's just say that's correct. It was Blue Hole, and then they, they decided to split off and make a PUBG corporation, That's and Blue Hole is the parent company of that, if you will. Jeez. Something like that. That's Anyways, crazy. Yeah. So just to put into even more perspective, on PC gaming, it's accounts for 12% of the entire PC revenue right now. Wow. When it comes to gaming. And you know what's crazy is, and I'm obviously not a hater in any ways. I've played it on Xbox One, and even though it's ran like garbage a lot of that time, I've had a lot of fun with it. I've had a lot of fun playing with other people, and I will continue to play it in the future. I haven't played it in a little bit, but I plan to play more of it. I don't feel like it's good. Like I don't feel like this game's better than... Overwatch, which granted I'm a fan of Overwatch, but let's say GTA. Like I'm not a huge fan of GTA, and I think overall numbers GTA is still higher than this. But like I don't feel like it's yeah. a better game than GTA, and it's like playing like gangbusters heading towards you know that. Direction. Well, you got to remember, Grand Theft Auto made a billion dollars this first four days. But I'm I'm just saying, you know, to be in the company of be like all these high end games, like I just I I don't quite get mm. the success honestly. As someone who in, has enjoyed playing the game, like I don't feel like it's good enough to warrant the craziness that it gets. I, honestly, it's kind of what you said. It's kind of what you said last week, though, man. Sometimes gameplay over everything else. Yeah, and no, I, and well, I get I get the gameplay loop, and I get the I get the gameplay draw. I really do. But and I guess this is where my personal biases and what I prefer comes into play in the equation is because. Even though I really enjoyed pub, the time I've had with PUBG, like I would never put it in my gaming library of like what do I want to what do I want to play the most. I wouldn't put it over, uh, like Overwatch or probably I don't even know if I would put it above Call of Duty honestly. And I mm. I put it probably equal to Call of Duty in my opinion. And mm. I play about the same amount these days. But I understand it's just. I don't know. It's just one of those things where I don't quite. I feel like it's just simply the name out there, and I feel like it's a bubble that's going to pop at some point. Again, not yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, sure. it's it's not good or it doesn't you know earn any. It shouldn't necessarily have any of its accolades. I don't mean to paint it. Well, in that something light, else will just come along and dominate the market. Yeah, because wasn't H one Z one kind of like? I mean, not to that extent, but I feel like everyone was yeah, talking it wasn't about as popular that. though. And yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, just. I've never played PUBG, but I don't know. To me, they they almost look like the same game. So it's funny that this one took off the way it did. Well, you know, the crazy thing is, I I feel like I saw somebody say this on Twitter, and and it's not like it wasn't necessarily common knowledge, but they just kind of underscored it. It's like, oh yeah, that's right. But it's like if you really think about it, originally it wasn't H one Z one 
a Sony online, whatever they called it back then, game. What, what? I don't remember no, I don't any of that. What, whatever turned into S I E, it was it was it was it was Sony something or other, and then they split off and became their own thing. Sony kind of let them go, but basically, a game that was under Sony's wing in a way was H one Z one, if I'm remembering correctly. And it's like hmm. if Sony would have just pushed it and like really like put the resources behind it, like hey, let's finish this out, let's make this a thing. And because if you remember, H one Z one was going to come to console, and in theory, it's still supposedly going to come to console at some point. But it's like they could have hit this before PUBG did. PUBG, yeah. if I if I understand right, is like some of the developers that were involved in some way with H1Z1 and split off and went to go make that's their right. own thing. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, like... That's right, that's right. The people who are involved with H1Z1, it's like, if you guys just would have really doubled down or whoever was investing in you would have doubled down on you and like put it out, like PUBG may yeah. have never even been a thing. It's so nuts how, well, you know, it you can have just to remember go too, like I that. think H1, you know, splintered. You know what I'm saying? Because H1Z1 wasn't the big map yeah they did essentially what fortnite did where it was a certain it was one game and then they split it off to have a battle royale version of the game that's yeah. right but PUBG came out and was just the battle royale yes okay you know what i mean and i think that's why all eyes fixed on that yeah my understanding is that the people who split off from h1 to go and make PUBG is they were working on the battle royale and they were like this is getting nowhere we can do this better on our own and they split off and went and did it I mean, obviously, there's more involved in it than just that. It's not like you can just split off and make a game and it makes $8 billion or whatever the heck it is. But they had investment and stuff. But it's like, man, if if H1 would have just had their ducks in a row and just like really doubled down on what they were doing on that side and like mm -hmm. they could have been. Public. Yeah, they could have been. Yeah. And, you know, I've played a lot of it with you, Gabe, and, and you've said many times that like, hey, yeah, this is fun and everything. But there's there's aspects and parts in certain areas where H1 did this so much better in this realm or this part of the game. That's right. And mm. granted, I never played H1Z1 because it was only on PC, but it's like, man, if they, it, it's so crazy to see when, it, to in hindsight, and be like, man, they could have been where this is right now, you know, if they had to play their cards right. It's just so nuts how yeah, it man. how it goes. It's like yeah. sometimes you just need that person to be like, all right, I'm, I, we're doing this like to the wall. We're just making this happen. And that's, that's what right. PUBG did, and they're reaping the rewards of it. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's they so are. so crazy. Golly, it's so awesome. I love winning. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if I don't love a game or love a movie or mm -hmm. love whatever, I, I love when somebody does, like, has their heart set on something and they win at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm yes. saying? I, I just think that's, that's cool to watch, especially when it comes to business, you know? Yeah. You know what? It's kind of like... Like the Amazon story. You know what I mean? Right. Yep. When I was watching the first week of the Overwatch League, I was telling Sarah, I, I got a little emotional just because I was watching all of these kids do what they love to do, and they get to do it so early in their life and get paid for it. That's, That's just, right. It's just I love when you get to see people chase their dreams and hit it, especially so early. It's just so yep. cool to Ooh. see. That's powerful. Mm -hmm. What else you got, Christopher? Well, speaking of esports, couldn't have let into what? it better. A South Korean esports team. They play League of Legends. They're a South Korean one. South Korean one. Imagine that. Oh, that's weird. I'm just kidding. Their team name is <laughs> KT Rolster. I don't know if that means something or what that stands for exactly. They do play League of Legends, but they kind of made history in that it, you know the Olympics are going to be in uh, South Korea. They were actually part of the torch bearing the process, Olympics. and they were the first Wait, esports which, which team. Olympics? To, what? The, which which Olympics? The Winter Olympics, right? Yes. Yeah. And they're the first esports team to be a representative of the country, and they got to carry wow. as part of a team to carry the torch on part of the you know the pathway how they do that. What? Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. That and That's so great. I mean on on an esports level, it's like oh my like to me I don't know in a weird way, and this could just be my opinion, obviously, but this almost more than anything else like legitimizes esports as a genre you know overall mm -hmm. arching you know because obviously esports there's all kinds of different games you can play just like you know in sports you could have like baseball and football and all these other different things but i was right. like wow that is like a huge step in recognizing now granted esports is probably the biggest in the world in south korea so it, it makes more sense like if this was in the usa it'd really be like oh my gosh that's kind of crazy <laughs> right but still the fact that an esports team was part of the torch bearing team that was able to carry it across you know along the way to its final destination 
That was ridiculous when I read that. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait till I can't wait till Jamaica gets an esports team and then we get to see a movie about Jamaica's it. Jamaica's got an esports team. <laughs> <laughs> Field a rhythm. Field a ride. <laughs> cool run <laughs> Let me kiss your egg before uh, we play. <laughs> yeah. You're dead. Oh man. I'm dead, man. I like that movie. That's <laughs> so good. Um <laughs> so Illumination Studios, mm-hmm. the the guys who did Despicable Me and Secret Life of Pets, they also did Sing. They were announced today that they have officially signed up with Nintendo to make the Mario movie. Oh, there you go. Okay. So at least it's somebody who's done some good work. Yeah. Yep. And knows what they're doing. It's not like some jack leg studio that they're like, eh, hey, I mean, well, yeah, we could probably... <laughs> glue something together right kind of like the married to the games christmas episode (laughs) um and so uh they tape exactly um they said that they if everything goes smoothly which you know rarely things do they said the mario (laughs) movie could happen by 2020 which is really fast for an animation movie oh wow Yeah. yeah um but it is they said it is in production it's moving so we will have to see and i will definitely be taking my kids to see a Mario movie. Oh yeah, I'm sure they'll do a good job with it. That, I mean, they do. They've done some really good stuff so far. Yeah, they've done good stuff. Mm-hmm. They've done crappy stuff. Sure. They also did Hop. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> Hop. I don't know. I don't exactly. Know. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so hopefully uh, Mario gets a good gets a good movie. I would love if he got a great movie. Yeah, they've had a pretty good track run. As of late, at least. Yeah, exactly. With minions and all that thing. Mm-hmm. Minions is them too and stuff like that. So, and my kids love seeing. I haven't, still haven't seen it all the way through, but it's they love it. Oh, movie. man. It is a great movie. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Well, there you have that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll love it. Good. I, I'm not going to watch it. Of course not. But... <laughs> Why would you? They've seen it already. Yep. <laughs> That's all that what matters. What else you got, Chris? Um, so last week, obviously, we talked a lot about um, Microsoft's new play that they're going to do with the Game Pass and how they're going to bring in first-party games going forward. All first-party games are going to be part of the Game Pass Game Pass subscription service. Uh, and one of the things that we kind of talked about, or I think we talked about, uh, we touched on how like retailers and how they feel about this and, and what like to do. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there is, as far as I can tell from the little bit of research that I did, there's only one gaming uh, outlet out there right now. It's an Austrian retailer called Games Market that they have basically delisted all Microsoft consoles from their store. They don't offer it online Whoa. or in their store. And they said, why should we... Basically what they said, there's, there's a translation from like... So I don't... I'm just going to give you a, a paraphrase here. But they were saying, basically, why should we sell Microsoft's hardware when we really don't make very much on it at all when it's obvious that they, they're just wanting to sell their software through their own service and don't want to help us out at all. So they basically said, we're not selling your cert, we're, your console. We're not going to sell any of your products at all. I, as far as I can tell, this is the only one that's doing that. And you had to, ex- or I guess I expected that somewhere in the world, some retailer was going to react this way. Um, it, I sure. mean, it only makes sense because, you know, they're fighting for their survival as well. Um, because if it plays out the way that I feel like it could, assuming Xbox handles this correctly and, and builds out their library and, and their, their war chest of, of IP and different studios to create stuff for them, this could easily be the nail in the coffin for retail games. Brick and yeah, mortar. Yeah, it could mm-hmm. it could totally bring that about, you know, down the road, obviously. It's not going to be like a tomorrow kind of thing. Um, so it, it's not super surprising that somebody did this. It's actually a little bit surprising to me that as far as I can tell, this is the only place that's done it. Hmm. So we'll just have to see yeah. if anybody else follows suit. I seriously doubt they're going to, at least on the, the U.S. Well, side of things. It's, it's a little early to want to smack them in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Microsoft, since the launch, since we first found out about the Xbox One, Mm -hmm. uh, we have to remember, originally, they didn't want to have a disk drive in it. And so they didn't want any physical games back then. People gawked. 
they were like, we, we were just kidding, guys. <laughs> of course, we're still going to use discs. And so they've been wanting to move in this direction for a long time. I think that just because an announcement happens doesn't mean you need to all of a sudden start boarding up your windows and, and things <laughs> right. like that. But, right. you know, uh, it, it is going to force uh, brick and mortar to get a little bit more competitive, which is really hard because obviously real estate on Mm -hmm. Land is much more expensive than server space. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's definitely going to force some hands when this when this takes hold, especially if other people follow suit. Yeah. I mean, honestly, in in terms of uh, Microsoft, Sony and and even Nintendo, I'll put in this. The only thing really I, I mean, Nintendo is a little bit different because they have the little cartridges for their for the Nintendo Switch. So it's a bit different. Um, but. The really the only thing that these people need retailers for is to sell their hardware, and, and in a way that kind of seems a little crazy to me because it's you have to remember, or I have to remember when I'm thinking about this that you know there's people you know mom and pops out and you know the boondocks that may not have internet or may not be able to buy their device you know over the internet through you know yeah. just oh, Sony's yeah. website or Microsoft's website, but they can go down, you know, into the town to the local Walmart or Target or whatever it is and buy a piece of hardware. It's like once Sony and, and Microsoft complete are able to completely find a way to just negate selling their consoles, their hardware inside of a store that's not owned or run by them, that's mm -hmm. when the jig is up. That's it, it's it's said and all said and done at that point. That's that's the only piece of the puzzle that they're missing. And to me, Xbox, like that's not completely here yet. But again, if they run this the way that they are, that they could and they do it the right way, it's just going to get people so used to it so quickly that they're just not going to need it anymore. And they're going to be like, oh, there's obviously always going to be that subset of people that are like, but I want my physical X, Y, Z, whatever, whatever their situation is. But this is a type of service that could potentially push the masses to the digital adoption and I'm 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 actually a little surprised that it took this long. In a way, it's kind of crazy because when you look at when Microsoft announced the Xbox One and this whole like always online digital stuff, you know, we want to do everything where you share your digital library and yada yada yada. In a way, this game's Game Pass and the way that they're adding it is kind of like bringing that a little bit to some degree that to fruition because when you buy, when you subscribe to the game pass you could download any of these games or all of them or however many you you've got space for there's still some kind of you've got to check in every so often to authenticate your license and your subscription very similar to playstation That's plus right. and xbox live but it's like everybody was like oh, when xbox one was announced <laughs> and i was like man outside of the connect which i was never a huge fan of the connect i was like I actually kind of dig what Microsoft was going for here. I understand why people are up in arms. It's like they were just a little too early. It's like now I feel like people yes. are receptive to this kind of becoming a norm, easing into it, not like all at once. But it's like, man, if the mm -hmm. Xbox One were to announce today the way it originally did, I feel like people would be totally fine with it. I don't think they'd have an issue well, with it, really. It well, we have to remember, too, a, a, a part of, and you know, when you bring up high-speed internet and things like that, we have to remember that, I mean, me, my family, my in-laws don't have wireless or high-speed internet at their house. Yes. And just looking at some uh, studies, I was just searching this real quick just because I was curious why you were saying mm -hmm. it. Um, back in uh, 2013, I think this story was from, uh, they were saying only 70% of the U.S. was covered by high-speed internet. 2013! Wow. You know what I'm saying? So that's only five years ago. So, And I don't remember when the Xbox One was first... Uh, you know, when they first started coming out with that news. Um, it was in 2013. But, you know, obviously that gap has really been closing uh, quickly. The The latest thing I can find is that um, 50 million U.S. homes have only 25 megabyte internet providers or none at all. Five million homes can't even get three megabyte per second uh, downloads. And so that wow. obviously it's closing, um, but it's still, yeah, it's you know, still, there's a good amount yeah. of people out there. And not only that, I mean, the the next, even let's say that gets fixed and to where the vast majority of the country has, you know, a decent speed that they can access. There's still the uh -huh. the next issue. And this is probably going to be exacerbated in some degree with the whole, you know, um, in, uh, what is it called? The net neutrality stuff that's been changing and going through all its rigmaroles. 
But the whole, the next issue that you're going to run up to is data caps. There's a lot of the country even that has high speed internet that then they have like, oh, but you could only download, you know, let's say 100 yeah, gigabytes this right. month. And it's like, well, but that's if you're right. downloading. Oh, and some are way gig, lower than that. Jeff. Yeah. And if you're. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I'm being I'm being a little bit generous even in that estimate. And it's like if you have. Every single game that you download is, you know, 60 gigs or more. What these right. newer You're games are? Obviously, the backwards compatible games on, on Xbox Game Pass are probably not that large. But the Xbox One games, like the, I think the micro, the uh, the Halo collection, that collection alone, which I believe is part of Games Pass or Game Pass, I think that collection is something like 150 gig or something. Something Ooh, like that. Wow. So, Ooh. I mean, I, I could be off a little bit here or there because I don't actually own it myself. But I know it's something. It's not something small. I mean, you got to think of all of the games that are right. collected in that are part of that collection. It's a big thing. And not only that, you can toggle between the new pretty version and the old version. So it's got double of it all there. So it's like that's going to be the next big hurdle that that people have to that the in, the industry and, and all the infrastructure is going to have to get over or figure out a way around before digital can really take hold. It's not like we're on the doorstep of the digital revolution, if you will, but it's definitely all these kinds of pieces just continue to move down that direction. Yeah. So we'll, mm -hmm. we'll just have to see how long it takes because infrastructure is yep, not moving yep, as yep. fast as I thought it would. <laughs> so, yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. Yep. It's change is hard. Yeah, it you is. You know what I'm saying? Anything, you know. Um, but necessary. Yep. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus is getting crazy scores. Yeah, the remaster. Crazy scores. That comes like, out soon, super, right? In like a week or so? That comes out next week. Yeah. Next week. Next uh, Tuesday, actually. The 6th, I think, of February. Yeah, I'm kind of interested um, in that. Yeah. Yeah, IGN has already gave it a 9.7 out of 10. Uh, Game Facts has given it a uh, ninety three percent. Trusted Reviews has already given it a ten out of ten. Wow! So, you know, there's some there's some reviews coming out that are saying, you know, and I don't know how much of this is, you know, nostalgia. Uh, what do you call it? Nostalgia speaking. Mm, yeah. Did you yeah, play a game? Be. No, I never. I've never played it. He fell asleep during these Ico. Reviews are making me want to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but these reviews are definitely wanting me to making me want to play. Yeah, it, that's for sure. So I wonder if that's going to hurt Monster Hunter as well. And that one's Blue Point, just in case you're wondering, Chris. Yes, it is. Oh, it really? Is. Okay. It's Blue Point is yeah, cuz I was I th I'm pretty sure the PUBG Corporation or the one that was owns the parent company of PUBG Corporation is Blue Hole. It's it always mm -hmm. just felt a little dirty saying that name, honestly, but <laughs> so yeah, there you go. The Blue Point really they, they're one of the companies out or the developers out there that they're known for that pretty much get hired a lot of times to do remakes and remasters of games or re redos of games. And they're one of the best in the business to do it. So it doesn't surprise me that at least on a technical level and how it looks that it's getting all the praise it is, you know, whether the game itself, whether it's being looked at through rose colored glasses because people loved it from back in the day or what, I don't know. I mm. never played it back in the day as well. So I'm, I'm kind of with you guys. I'm, I'm definitely interested. And if I end up picking it up, this is going to be my first, my first go at it. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you have it. You got anything else, Chris? I am out. Good, sir. Uh, I got just a couple quick things. Um, quick fire <laughs> or no. Uh, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> quick things. Um, nice. Michael transactions are coming back to star Wars battlefront two, And people are really mad. Yeah. Yeah, man. Upset about it. I, you know, you guys have all heard us talk till we're blue yep. in the face about that um mario kart tour is announced for mobile yeah um, <laughs> <what's that mean? laughs> um it's gonna be a mario kart game for the phones hmm. cool so, interesting i wonder if it's gonna be free to play the first track and cost then you get a five dollars, dollars. Yeah. <laughs> exactly i mean um, i ain't hating i'm just saying i'm curious but they're not expecting it to come out till like something like March of 2019 or something crazy. Oh, wow. Um, so, or sorry, they're saying sometime during the fiscal year, which runs from April to March, oh, yes. okay, but there's right. no details, no details mm -hmm. yet. Uh, and they're shutting down, uh, Mitomo. Yeah, they are. We didn't know. What? That. Who um, saw that coming? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I used the heck out of Mitomo for like a week and a half. And I, mean, I, was like, I think and that's what every, yeah. everybody did. Yeah. Um, and then Nintendo Switch 
finally will be launching their online paid service in September of Jeez. this year, which is a huge pushback from them wanting to have it out by the holidays of last year. So hopefully, like we've always talked about, when things get pushed back, hopefully this just means they're getting their ducks in a row mm-hmm. and they're going to get it right. Yep. Come on, Nintendo. Let's get it right. Please. Good for I them for pushing it. it back that far, though. That means that they're, they've are they got a lot of work to do and they That's recognize right. that. So, And they're doing good. it. Yep. Um, Eduardo. Yes, sir. We got some free games, don't we, Doc? Yeah, we do. Ooh, it's about yeah, to be Black History Month up in this piece. Yes, nice. it, is. it is. I'm Come floating on. in between still doing Black History facts every week or yes. each week telling you about a time that I was mistaken for another black person. Both. <laughs> I think it should be both. We'll see what happens. From Darius Rucker to Kirk Franklin. I, yep. mm-hmm. I, know, I feel like every time someone mentions Darius Rucker, I'm like, uh... <laughs> Again. Have you seen Again. either of them besides they're bald? <laughs> oh my gosh. It, it, really funny side note, real quick. Uh, he was on TV not too long ago, and uh, I'm sitting there watching him with Amara. And I said, Boots, you know that a lot of times people think that that's me. And she's like, Who? The guy singing? I was like, Yeah. She goes, Huh? You guys kind of look alike. <laughs> I love Thanks it. Thanks a lot. That's so I funny. I love her. <laughs> She's like validation I mean, you're both from your daughter. Have a beard. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was like, good. So other people differentiate as good as a six-year-old. Uh, yep. I love <laughs> how kids go. break it down, man. They break it down to its simplicity. <laughs> right. Yeah. If you want a mirror in your house, have yep. a child. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they will tell you about yourself. Right. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Ed. Uh, let's see. Starting off over on the uh, PS4 for February, they've got Rime, R-I-M-E. I feel like I've heard That's of it, it. but right. I don't know anything yeah. about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. Rime was going to be the game that for a long time was going to be PS4 exclusive, and then they just took forever and ever and ever, and then Sony was like, ah, yeah, never mind. <laughs> you're you're going to just go off on your you own. I don't have it. And then they ended up making the game and they released it on PS4, Xbox One, and I think it either came out or it's coming out to the Switch if it isn't already. Oh, wow. Here. Yeah. People say it's not great. Oh. Say it's okay. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, that's t- too bad. And then a mm-hmm. game people seem to be excited about, uh, at least as far as the Discord uh, goes, uh, Knack is coming out. So I, I am so... It, wait, wait, wait. It blows my mind that it took this long for Knack to come to PlayStation. I know nothing about it. Are you being it. facetious about people being excited? No, no. There's a lot of people excited. It's not, not even one, though, just right? on Discord on Twitter. I don't get it. Yeah, it was a launch game. It was. Was a launch it really? Game. It was. Oh wow. Mm-hmm. Why are people excited? I don't know. I think because they feel like me. They always expected it was going to come, and now finally it's happening. I think it's really just that, honestly. Ah. Not like, ooh, I can't wait to play Knack. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's some people out there that are like that, but I, can't I think wait it's to more play the of first like a, game on the PlayStation like I, ne- 4. I never yeah. paid for it because I was like, I'm just going to wait. This is going to come to PlayStation Plus at some point, And now it's happening. I think we said so. that when the PlayStation 4 was coming out. Probably. We're like, we're not playing this Nat game. We'll play it when it's free. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm yep, reneging yep. on that comment. <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> uh, for the PS3, we've got Spelunker HD. And I don't know how this is pronounced. Muggin Souls Z? Mugen Souls Z? The old Muggin Souls. You know, just walking down the street, <laughs> mugging some souls. <laughs> Mug, muggle Souls? I know, right? Mm-hmm. Is it a Harry Potter branch off? You never know. For the PS Seriously. Vita, Exiles End and Grand Kingdom, which is also available on the PS4. There, there you go. go. Over on the green side of things, Xbox has Shadow Warrior. Look at you. I love that. Look at that. Just, you were that. such a radio guy. What? I love it over on the it green so, side of things. I, lo- I just like that segue. It was oh, beautiful. Yeah, it was perfect. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's like you've done this for a living. <laughs> mm-hmm. I haven't. Over on the green side of over things. The green like, side there of things. he is. <laughs> hey. Shadow Warrior, another game I know nothing about. Oh, I thought you said Shadow of War. I was like, well, I'm going to spend the next month downloading that on Bus Internet. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> And then Assassin's Creed Chronicles India. Oh, the, oh. Just, 16th, just India? Just India. Rage quit. 
Which that oh, was, stop let's be being rage cheap, quit. Microsoft. We know you're trying to buy a company. I know, right? Let's be real. You can give all three of those away. Yeah. I mean, come on. We need Ed, Ed to rage quit that again. I know, right? Yeah. He just might. That's from February <laughs> 16th bored. to March 15th. He's super bored. <laughs> uh, on the 360, available uh, on the Xbox One via backwards compatibility, Split Second is available Ooh, February 1st. The kids to call the it back compat, just so you know. Back uh, compat. BC. There you yeah, go. Exactly. Hey. I like that. Gabe, you made an mm. ooh on Split Second. Because I want to play that. Really? Ooh. I, I remember like really thinking that looked cool when it first came out because it was... I think you can like, I don't remember, I don't remember the little, the little quirk that's in there that makes it really cool. I don't remember if it's like you can rewind a couple seconds or what it was, but like, oh, right. it's it's supposed to have some pretty cool stuff in there I, and I never played it. Well then get thee to quantum break. I know. Seriously. Get that out of the way. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yep. Yep. Do that. And then February 16th to 28th, another noise from Gabe, crazy taxi. Yeah, the offspring. I don't remember if their music made it over to the Xbox version, but I hope it did. So there you go. You Loved it. I didn't even like the offspring all like that. And then I played Crazy Taxi. I was like, offspring is awesome. People were like, what? And I was like, sorry, I've been playing Crazy Taxi. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I, I feel apologize. like I've heard you mention that game a few times in the past. Yeah, you have. Oh, man, it was a Dreamcast classic, Doc. Really? Oh, yeah. I don't know. You said that about, uh, what's the other free one that came out not too long ago? You're like, Ed, did you play that? Yeah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> what was it called? <laughs> Flipping fly, flying around a volcano for no point? <laughs> nights into dreams nights into nights. dreams wow yeah. <laughs> that's a game you really talked up and shouldn't have oh <laughs> calling you out man wow i, I know nice it was show. funny because once i asked him if he played it and he was like no or i tried and i had no idea what i was doing i was like why did i tell him to play that game <laughs> <laughs> you immediately regretted it didn't you yeah it was it was like if a dad was like oh but have you played galaga though no, right, like, right. right. I mean, yeah. You're like, okay, cool. Just wondering. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see. Over on YouTube's uh, new this week, we've got the inpatient parts seven through nine. The ending. You can go check that out. Cheaters. If, uh, the ending is different than what you got when you played mm. it and freaked out. Looking at our top ten YouTube videos. Combining the average watch time and views for the week of January 24th through the 30th. Number 10, Watch Dogs 2, Part 6, Bottom Dollar Complete. Ooh. Uh Uh-huh. Number 9, Hugh, Part 9, Mountains. Okay. Number 8, Hugh, Part 4, Pink. Peach. (laughs) Toadstool. Mm -hmm. Number 7, Ori and the Blind Forest, Part 14. Right. Thornfelt Swamp. Hmm. Number nice. six, Gabe and Chris react to The Last of Us oh! Part Two. Yeah, wow. climbing back up, back in it. Oh snap! Crank that hype engine back There's up. There's no stopping so, love. No stop. Somebody shovel some coals into that old engine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Watch Dogs Two Part Forty Eight: Ghost Signals. Number three, Married to the Games Episode Forty Eight. The what? first 48. You know what's weird about that one? Is that that people, one... Did something happen on the on, TV show? Early on, that got a lot of views. People were like, this ain't the show. <laughs> yeah, it's got a ton uh, of views on it. And, I, and I, I'm sure it's because people think it's the show. So I was, something must have happened on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, people were like, oh, snap. Did you see last week's uh, uh, first 48? He's like, no, let me go YouTube it. <laughs> right. Because that show's on YouTube. Exactly. No, it's not. Oh, never mind. I didn't even know it was still on. Me either. Something happened. Number three must on the have chart been a, this Must week. have been a marathon. <laughs> right? Number two, Watch Dogs 2, part 19. And hold on a second. Job. By the yes. way, hold on. Because you're doing average watch time and views. So right. that means if it was people on both. Didn't, so that means if people didn't listen to it all the way through, that it wouldn't even be on the list. So that means they stayed around 
after obviously knowing it wasn't the show. Right. They, uh, and so, maybe, were they like, okay, at some they point, video is going to kick us. in. <laughs> yeah. They were like, why is this guy complaining about Comcast so much? Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's, his he, words make him seem like he would be mad, but his intonation doesn't. <laughs> Reagan Comcast. Reagan Comcast. Yeah, it was really. Let me actually. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Five bucks. Well played. That's what oh, he was willing to spend cut, for things. Chris. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah man. Was, There's a small percentage of the community gonna get that one. When it comes to just watch time, it was number six this week. No hmm. way. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That means people stayed around and listened to us, still trying to figure this show out. Right. <laughs> we weren't doing anything that we do now pretty much in episode uh, i know it's so weird yep i don't even think we had a question of the week yet we definitely didn't have mttg oops no yeah. we, we might not even had music yet i mean wow. we always had the intro and outro song but like the bumpers in between oh right right yeah we didn't have uh do we have a we question doing, not let's get we were, into <laughs> no we didn't even have questions yet we yeah. were like well that's the right. show bye <laughs> <laughs> See don't <ya>. write us <laughs> exactly i don't i don't think tim was even reading the wrong um top 10 yet <laughs> yeah <it's> very true <laughs> <laughs> that's so very crazy true. yeah when it comes to views it was the number one video of the week what the world what yeah is going on so something happened on that dumb tv show that made people come over to us <laughs> uh, yeah made a bunch of blind people come over right <laughs> <laughs> They're like, why is it just a still? Right. <laughs> I don't have a controller. Married people on it. Just That's spinning around. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's so weird. Uh, number uh, it two. It makes me want to go listen to it. I, uh, <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? You'll regret that like 10 minutes in. You'll be like, oh, I should have this. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, know you, uh, Gabe. What's crazy, what's crazy about that, though, for me and Tim is like, at that point, Remy or Milo didn't exist yet. Yeah, you know, isn't it weird? Wow. You know what I mean? Like when you go back that far because we've been doing the show for so long, you know, Remy's only two. And so episode 48, this is episode 280 something. Yeah, man. 81, is mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it's yep. 81. Golly. I've been getting all nostalgic. Aw. Oh, thanks, YouTube. Ooh, thanks, thanks, YouTubes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number one, Hugh part 11, the ending. Hashtag anticlimactic. Uh, <laughs> yep. Married to the Games, episode seven. Right. <laughs> Golly. That's crazy. Thank you, Eduardo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy week. Well, every that is a crazy week. I like crazy weeks, though. It makes it it makes the, yeah. the countdown funner. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Swapped around like that. Yeah. And it's like, what? Yeah. Even um, Chris popped back up again. I, I love know, that. that's awesome. <laughs> we had bottom dollar complete without bottom dollar fail next to it. People finally learned that complete means it's finished. <laughs> I know. What the heck? <laughs> um, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different, except for the fact that a lot of you guys answered this question. <laughs> so I'm not going to read them all, but I will uh, definitely, I never read them all, but uh Definitely go check out some of these answers because it's really fun. Starting yeah. over on the forum, which is always a guaranteed read if mm -hmm. you want to go sign up on the forum. Spam, mm -hmm. spam, spam, humbug. Remember the question was hot or cold, west or east coast, hot dogs or hamburgers, morning or night, noise or silence. Mm. Spam, 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 humbug said cold, west coast, hamburgers, night, and silence. Mm -hmm. I know. I like right? it. Turn off the lights. Um, <laughs> light a candle. All right. Um, Tim over on Facebook, Tim Holmberg said hot West Coast hamburgers night and silence. Ah. Mm. Corey Ray Swope said Swope? I I would rather be delivering mail in the heat. East Coast is where it's at. Love me some chili dogs, especially the ones from downtown Fort Wayne's Coney Island. Mm. I'm one of the most cra I'm one of those crazy morning people that roll out of bed and go go go. Ugh. Nope. Uh huh. And I have noise in the background for everything, even falling asleep. 
Yeah. Nice. I get that. That makes mm-hmm. sense to me. That makes yep. sense to my brain. Kyle Grizzle says hot East Coast burgers night silence. Mm. A lot of silence going on. Yeah. I like that. Alex Perez said cold because sweating is whack. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I sweat for a living. Yes, West Coast, a.k.a. the most blessed coast forever. All right. Hot dogs like those L.A. street corners after a late night of fun bacon wrap style. Hmm. Mm. I've never those had bacon L.A. Wrap street fun. corner after a late night of fun bacon wrapped style. That's what? probably a typo in there someplace. <laughs> Just picture him <laughs> walking down the boardwalk wrapping bacon. Yeah, he's like, oh, man, now I need some hot dogs from a street vendor. <laughs> Because that bacon wrapped fun was way too much. Yeah, because this bacon wrap style is <laughs> killing the game right now. <laughs> night, because night show. Night show. There you go. Yeah. Love that. Noise, because I'm not trying to be alone with my thoughts. <laughs> I get that. Right. Over on the Facebook, a, a, a strange appearance by Spencer Stapleton. Oh. He says, what? cold. Which is good for him because he lives up north. Mm-hmm. Chicago. Not a choice. Which is not yeah, a choice at all. That's Midwest. <laughs> Thanks for being indecisive. Deep dish or brats. <laughs> what? Deep dish or brats. Hmm, I don't know. Deep dish is huh? not a hamburger. Right? <laughs> right. So we're going hot dogs with the brats. Right. Night and noise. He said, I mean, come on. I got you. All right. Over on t- Twitter, his brother, his brother, <laughs> Josh Stapleton, with that, no, yeah, equally crazy answers. Yep, says lukewarm. What? Not a choice. Oh, Not a choice. Midwest. Guys, what? He said peace on earth. So both sides. What? And silence at home and noisy music in the car. <sighs> Josh, you're you're fired. Right. right. You guys are suspended from answering the question of the week. Right. For, for two one months. week. Pick a side. <laughs> two months. That's <laughs> steep. Well, you know, you got to lay down the law sometimes. Right? You got to make yeah. an example. Think about what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, Mr. Ham at oh. MTTG Brazil team. Yeah. Oh, what up? Oh, oh. Lucas Ham. Uh, I love that. Makes me think of Lucas Ham because we're going to Rio Rancho tomorrow. Um, it just makes me think of him because it says Rio in the name. <laughs> uh, I'm a hot and sweaty beast of the East that eats a burger every week and enjoys the silence of the morning by reading the Bible and playing some games. All right. Ooh. There you That's go. That's all Deal. the answers into one nice sentence. I like that. Yeah. That's how you do a street team. Yeah, exactly. Learn from Brazil. Take note. <laughs> yeah. Take, take note. note, Street Team. Yeah, take that, Stapletons. <laughs> you just got schooled by Brazil. Yeah, with your Utah weirdness. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. with your I didn't Utah say that. Weirdness. I love my Utah weirdness. <laughs> I love Utah weirdness. <laughs> Chris has never been to Utah. Don't listen to him. With That's true. I've got curfews. I've been wandering around the streets in Utah like, what am I supposed to do right now? Where am right. I going? <laughs> what do I do with myself? And then the clouds parted and I met the Stapletons. And I was there like, there, there you go. I'm home. I'm home. The world, and the they make Utah place. okay. If the Stapletons move back to Chicago, I'm done with Utah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, still got, we still got Brett T. Bodden out there, though. Yeah, if the Stapletons move back to Chicago, I'm done with Utah. I'm just kidding. And Historian Junior. <laughs> love, love you guys. I'm just joking. It's all it, in it good is. fun. It's all love. Yeah. Nobody, <laughs> nobody go on a riot or anything. All right, here we go. Uh, at Dopalicious Splig, cold, <laughs> East Coast, yes, burgers, sir. night, noise. There you go. I, I love late night burgers from New Jersey diners. Yes. Mm. They're loud. Miss that, that man. Oh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Jay Marsh as Squeedy. Ah. Cold. Mm-hmm. I can't really stand heat. East Coast grew up in the DMV, Northern VA. Nice. Cheeseburgers cooked medium with extra bacon, no mm. mayo. Oh, yes. The nighttime is the right time. Mm. 
and noise please. I love loud music, preferably live, and city noise. I don't dig silence. It's creepy. Hmm. <laughs> that's awesome i can get down with all those answers yeah um now over on discord i'm telling you a lot of people answered this question so that we're just kind of trying to show everybody some love right arctic warlocks you know what his first one is arctic <laughs> uh. east side till i die yes the burger mm-hmm. morning crew that's right and shh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Really? I almost fell asleep there for the now, right? I know. Yeah. Like he did. <laughs> Our hangout. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Touche. All that. that was awesome. Nailed that one. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Mark Boucher, who hopefully I'll see sometime in April. Cold. You can bundle up a bunch, but there's only so much you can take off when you're hot. Depends on where you are. A- yeah, amen to true. that. I don't. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, if you're in a house, you can take out whatever you want, or in mm-hmm. certain parts of the country where it's you're allowed. You're you saying if you're at the mall. Nothing. I mean, some. I'm sure there's a mall somewhere out there that allows. No, I'm it. Sa- you're saying if you're at the mall, you can't just strip down when it's That's hot. That's true. Yeah, sure. most of them you cannot. Yes. Exactly. Um, or you could just ask the cop to <laughs> roll down the windows when you're in the car. <laughs> <laughs> East Coast happens to be the best coast, which is obviously not true. Well, Hamburgers I, I all the way. Respectfully disagree, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Nighttime is the right time and prefer some light noise over complete Ooh, silence. Yes. I like hmm. that. Light noise. Right. Light noise. Voiced by Nathan. I'd rather it be cold outside. I could put on warm clothes. West Coast. I've been to both, but the West Coast is just so much more interesting to me because the Northwest is beautiful and the beaches are better in California. Mm -hmm. The beaches are better in California. Yes. Yeah, they are. Then the East Coast? Yes. Yes. I I think so, yes. Gotcha. It's a fact. I mean, I mean, right? Uh, yes, you're not. Swimming I mean, with, I know Myrtle Nick. Beach really keeps up with Malibu no, no, no. and everything. <laughs> yeah, try going to the Jersey Shore when you're out there swimming, and a milk carton goes right by you. Right. <laughs> Hashtag true story. I know, I know this isn't the question, but how do they compare to like the Gulf Coast? No, Gulf is beautiful. They got some. They got some nice. Yeah, Gulf, yeah, nice Gulf is awesome. But Gulf you gotta understand, though, still the West is pre- when you're talking about America. The West is pretty uh-huh. hard to deal with when it comes to beaches. It's just. Is There's it, so many beautiful, beautiful places. It's beautiful, West. yeah. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, you're having the East Coast boy here say that it's even beautiful. So yeah, it is. Good. Uh, hamburgers, specifically the ones I grill up and mix in some onions, garlic, and other ingredients. I can't tell you because it's my secret. Jeez, I pref- thanks. I know, right? She's, I didn't even ask. slapping my hand. I, yeah, I don't even care. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I prefer the night, start with a beautiful sunset, then stay up a little while to gaze at the stars, then have a nice fire with friends, then go to mm. bed. Perfect evening. Mm-hmm. Nice. That sounds I great. Like that. Yeah, yeah, fires in the morning would be just weird. That's like stuff serial killers do. That, that means there's an emergency, I believe. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. That means uh, the fire department's coming, typically. Right. Silence. The world we live in has too much noise. Finding some silence Ooh. for self-reflection and thoughts is so hard to find, but worth it when you do. Mm. Good answer. I like that. Yeah. Unless you're scared of your thoughts, you got a lot of people running around up there. That's true. Mm-hmm. I remember I heard a comedian say, I don't like when people say, you're in my thoughts and prayers. They're like, I don't want to get mixed up with all that stuff in your head. J R 1313 said, hot like fire. West Coast hamburgers hashtag beef meat is best mm. morning morning works out morning morning workouts and coffee are the best mm. noise i always have something playing if i can too many good podcasts out there not to be listening to something there you go there you go boom and since he said it on our discord i'm putting us on that list nice i like it thank you guys so much for the question or the answers to the question you know where to find us facebook.com slash married to the games twitter.com slash mttg cast of course you can come check us out on youtube like ed said youtube.com slash married to the games cut married to the games.com and now on patreon patreon.com slash mttg 
Oh, mm. right. Yeah. And, uh, oh, snap. Uh, Ed? Uh, <laughs> rate, rate us on iTunes. Leave a remark oh, if man. you want. <laughs> Uh, no, I. You got it. If you wreck in a car, I'll pull you out by your hoodie. Hey, yeah. You hey. Right. <laughs> by your weird gimpy leg. Oh, <laughs> by your weird gimpy leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Well, let's get into some questions. rate us on itunes because dang it it's my birthday now man i am 43 years old it's past midnight it's crazy happy birthday router i can't believe happy it 87 got, thank you oh, 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 <laughs> going down there ginger you're going I down can't wait till, i can't wait till 300 where we can sit around and you can tell us what picture shows were like <laughs> <laughs> that'll be weird because 300 will be the first time that the Jeez. the episode number matches his age <laughs> Hey, oh, keep going. Come on. Oh, keep going. I need it. Let's oh, go. Keep going. I think that I think it was Tim who actually stole that stone from Rose on the Titanic <laughs> at, at, after Jack dropped in the water. Keep going. No. <laughs> I think that's how he made it into West Haven. No, he, he didn't steal it. He made it. Hey. <laughs> yes. Nice. Ed. Oh, my gosh. It'll be so fun listening to him look around while we're at Ooh. 300 and be like, Look at all this electricity. I remember when my son had that key out on that kite. <laughs> we don't talk much anymore. <laughs> in Assassin's Creed Origins, I'm actually a character in it, too. <laughs> Tim's an NPC. That's the best one. That's yep. the best one. Okay, no is. more. Nothing's no going to beat that. That was too yep. good. I got you. Oh, oh yeah. that was That's good, awesome. Tim. Yeah. Yeah. Tim's a side character in Assassin's I'm a Creed side character. <laughs> That's right. I had to kill but to, you. But to, exactly. <laughs> on the fourth mission. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, my um, gosh. He had to go get him 10 shekels. Uh, <laughs> I'm one of the guys that says, thank you, Bayek. <laughs> oh, 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 my gosh. Uh, somebody please find somebody in that game that looks like Tim. Please. Uh, <laughs> oh. All right. Shall we get funny. into some questions now? I think we should. I mean, thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you, everybody, for the, the ribbing. That was great. Uh, over on Discord, Fluxel, as this coming Saturday is eat ice cream for breakfast day, what flavor are you digging your spoon into? Coffee. Ooh, Ooh coffee ice cream? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Delicious. I love coffee ice cream. That's a good choice, Chris. Ooh, that is good. Bri- Man, Briar's coffee ice cream is... Whew. What's your favorite brand of coffee ice cream, Chris? Coffee uh, ice cream. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's my favorite. What I buy here to bring home is is Bluebell, but nice. I actually like Gelato better. And I don't, I don't know of any, I don't have like a favorite that you, like brand that you buy of Gelato. I usually go to a place. There's a place right here called Pachugo and a couple of other one off places nice. that I really like as well. I like that. That's yeah. Good answer. There you go, Ed. I think I I've been on a uh, cookie dough kick lately. Oh, nice. oh Lord. Ooh, Y'all nice. choosing some good ones, brothers. Yep. <laughs> Y'all choosing some good ones. <laughs> Tim? Uh, I'm butter pecan. Ooh, I love nice. me some butter pecan. It's good nice. Stuff. There you go. Um, the, Tim, remind me at Jenny's Splendid Ice Creams. Yes. There's like an almond butter brittle. Is that what yeah. it's called? Do you remember? Yeah, I think mm. you're right. I, something. And like it's got that, pecans yes. in it or something like that. Ooh, yeah. I don't no, remember I'm, it. I'm changing mine now. Yeah, I'm changing mine to Jenny's Brambleberry Crisp. That's the one that I usually get. Oh, it's so good. Woo. Man, I love Jenny's. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that place is so good. It's stupid good. So, yeah, that butter almond brittle, whatever the freak is called. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, So, happy eat ice cream for breakfast day on Saturday, everybody. I hope you get some. Woo. Good. Brown butter almond brittle. There it is. Mm. It's a mouthful. It literally tastes like heaven. It does. You're like, how does this taste like streets of gold and pearly gates? That's weird. 
it tastes a lot better than I would have thought. <laughs> they go together nicely. I thought, yeah, I thought it would have a little bit more iron taste to it, but no. Yeah, that's right. There it is. All right, uh, Stump Water Jack, any tips on how to improve my dance moves? Oh, yeah. Uh, dance to dance? the beat, not the words. Yes. Mm. Not one in three, two and four. Stumpwater Jack is a very good dancer. He's out here on the road with us. And every time nice. I go into my reggae section, he goes crazy back there on front of house camera. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah. Shout out, Gonzo. That's awesome. I like that. Tim, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Chris, you got any? You got you have some moves? Uh, no, I do not. <laughs> I saw him you on the lip sync battle. Moves, yeah, you Chris. do. You, you got better moves. stop yeah, it. You better talk uh, better about my friend. <laughs> I I, I I do not have moves, so you, I don't have to. You got if you moved. Take off that second left shoe and put a right shoe on. That'll help you. Out. <laughs> I would I would tell you this: it helped Chris get you some tight red pants. Yep, and mm-hmm. live your life. <laughs> put that hurt you know can somebody I mean, put that in a fortune cookie please just put that in a fortune cookie yo life <laughs> exactly exactly written out exactly like that <laughs> oh that's good i kind of want to do that right now i think you should tight red pants go live my life right quick on the dance floor <laughs> Put that in a song somewhere, Gabe. <laughs> Tell him, Tobe. <laughs> Ed, do you have any tips? Uh, just go, man. Don't even care. Just go. Yep. Yes. I love yep. it. I love that. That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, JR1313, have you ever gotten a speeding ticket? I want details. A uh, speeding ticket? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i've gotten a few there's nothing fancy dancy about it i got i was speeding and they got pulled over yeah that, yeah <laughs> pretty much it i'm the same don't yeah. sound bitter either there's never been anything crazy about it yeah nope all right my last speeding ticket was coming back driving back from disney i want to say six or seven years ago this this was pre-piper going 70 and a 55 right near downtown atlanta Three hundred and fifty dollar speeding ticket. Oh first off. yes, now. Since then, uh, in fact, two weeks ago, I got pulled over on my way to the dentist. And since mm-hmm. since that time that I actually got the ticket, I I've been got, knock on wood. I've always gotten a warning. Wow! Never, nice. I haven't gotten a speeding ticket since. Wow! Um, wow! The first time I ever got a ticket, I was headed into work. I don't know if I was running late or what. 55 and a 30. Ooh, here's there the, it is. Here's the kicker, though. 55 and a 30 speeding ticket, expired tags, mm. and didn't have my seatbelt on. Oh. No. The very Going first to, time I got a ticket, it. I got three tickets. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't just put you in jail. That's amazing. God, it's a, trust me. Overnight. <laughs> like, That's hey, an overnight stay, man. You're going to have to come with us, sir. I mean, you step out of the car. <laughs> Can you call somebody to wow. come pick this up off the side of the road? Wow. That's crazy. Okay, first car, real quick, since we're talking about it. Mine was 87 Honda Civic. Tim, horse and first buggy. Car. Chris. Oh, my God. First, first car? First <laughs> yeah. Car. Is that, was that the question? Or the yeah, first car. 93 Mustang. Horse and buggy. <laughs> Ed. <laughs> uh, 84 Ford Granada. Tim. Nissan Pathfinder. Llama. Nice. Yeah, no, camel, dude, camel. Come on, llama. Get this right. Uh, he was with Al- Doc Brown when he went way, way back. He was like, first of my uh, DeLorean. <laughs> <laughs> Giving Marty oh, credit for inventing the Frisbee. Come on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That was Tim. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, all right, good question. Uh, moving on to Facebook, D- Daniel High. What state has the best food? I guess that's very, very subjective. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh man, I got to go California just because there's so much different, so much different stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <sighs> there's probably a lot man. of states you could say that about. Yeah, you yeah. could say that about it. Like, yeah, you say that about New York. Yeah, New York, the same way. Florida is a little bit like that too because it's got all that Caribbean food. Right, in there. that's true. Yeah, that's very true. Man, because Florida is super diverse uh, as you head south, especially. 
I mean, if you break it down into cities, though, I'm really proud of Nashville. We've got really good food here because we have a lot of transplants from all over. Yeah, we're getting put on the map and, a little bit. And we are, we are definitely getting put on the map. And there are some really great restaurants here. So I'm really proud of this city. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't say Tennessee State overall because, you know, yeah. once you get on the outskirts, it gets a little... Yeah, suspect. Shift, a little shifty. Chris? I mean, I, I'm just going to say here, Texas, because it's so big and it's kind of the same. Yeah. The whole state, like you can get, the only thing I feel like you can't get here that's the, the creme de la creme, if you will, is seafood. Unless mm-hmm. you're towards what? the coast. But even that, in the south side of Texas, you can get that because you're right there by, you're yeah. by the Gulf. But I'm yeah. talking about up here on the northern weird. part where I am, you can get stuff, but it's not like... Man, I caught this yesterday, kind of thing. Typically, right, you yeah. know. I think, yeah. man, I think I gotta go with. I gotta go with Ed, man. Cali is just, it's just too yeah. good with so much water and just yeah. so many people moving there to follow mm-hmm. the American dream and everything. Right, mm-hmm. a lot of transplants mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There too. Very good, very good question. And people that move from other places. Yeah, there you go. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> In the dictionary under redundant, it says see redundant. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Twitter. I was more talking about hair. Let's go to <laughs> Twitter at MTTG Brazil team. Our boy, hey. Lucas Ham. I know we already mentioned him, but this is a good one. My bros, how's it goes? I think I'm too white to say that as is router. It has been too long since I've written. <laughs> I'm still down here. I <laughs> haven't even met. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm still down here in Brazil serving the Lord and addicted to Metal Gear Solid 5. Yes, you are. Good man. That's right. He's a good man. (laughs) So my question is simple. Who's on first? Happy discussing and God bless you in life and gaming. That's correct. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. That's a great. It's good to hear from you, brother. We haven't heard from you in a while. Right. So I'm glad that you're around and and doing your thing in Brazil. And please keep us posted on what you're doing. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Love it. So that's that's who's on first. Uh, yep. At Haley Zarell, hey, have y'all watched any good movies lately? Because personally, I loved Bright. Really? Was Bright good? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's a that's Netflix the, movie with Will Smith. The one oh, with Will Smith. is that the one with the orcs? The, the orcs and stuff. Yes. And the yeah, yeah, yeah. And the wand. Right. Yeah, it looks I've, terrible. I know a couple people who saw it that they were like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. But mm, I haven't yeah. seen it myself. I'm glad I, I, I might I need to sit down and watch it. I'm a huge I'm a lifelong Will Smith I, I, fan. I know me too. I need to like see it just to see how he is in it. But the whole concept just seems really weird. Mm hmm. It does. It's just, it seems out of place. So that could either be good or bad. Well, I don't know. You be yeah. the judge. Yeah. I forget what two movies he said it was a mashup of. Um. I think he like, said it was like Boys in the Hood and Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, like right? Yeah. Oh wow! Really? Yeah, nice. Yeah, because yeah, it deals a lot with like classism and um, gangs. Yeah, gangs and stuff like that, and the upper echelon and the hmm. gutter. But then it's orcs and fairies, and but it's um, what's kind of cool about it that I that I've heard is that it's played out like orcs, fairies, and humans have always lived, and elves have always lived together. So it's not like a weird thing. Right, it's yeah. just normal, and then like the orcs are kind of the thugs, and I think the elves are the high, the upper echelon kind of people. You know, like it usually plays out because if the orcs were the upper echelon, it would just look weird. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Man swine. Anyway, yeah. um, final question, and this is a good. Oh one. wait, wait, Eric? we didn't answer a question. I haven't seen any movies. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, Tim. Uh, Tim, you seen uh, any uh, good movies recently? I mean, I did enjoy Star Wars. Yep, yep, yep. That was yep. good. Uh, Ed? And you know, I saw Coco too. That was amazing. Oh, I want to see I that. I heard that was good. I wanted it to see it. I never saw really, it. really, really good. Really good. Good. Ed, you nice. seen any? Uh, we went and saw The Greatest Showman. That was pretty good. How was oh, it? How it was, was that? Yeah. Was I've, I've heard mixed reviews about that one. Everyone Rotten Tomatoes that, tore it up. Did they really? 50, Ev- 54% or something. Ooh. Everyone that I talked to really liked it. And then it's funny because... There's one of the songs they sing. They just repeatedly say, "This is the greatest show." So I'm like, "Did you get? Did you just get hypnotized?" Because, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yes, but not little man. Enjoyed Could it. be. Sarah, yeah, it's funny because everybody I've asked has said that the story's not great, but the music's amazing. And I'm yeah. like, "Well, but it's a movie, though." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, right. If the story's you not need good, a story, I yeah. definitely like the soundtrack more than I did the actual movie. Um, I was just going to say, I bet the soundtrack's crushing it right now. Yeah, yeah. Chris, what about you, bud? 
I mean, the la- I'm kind of in the same boat as Tim. The last movie that I saw was uh, Star Wars, and I enjoyed it, but I haven't seen anything. I don't Recently. even remember what the last thing I saw before that, and then I haven't seen anything since then. So, yeah, man, I bought this movie pass for this tour, and oh, I yeah. was gonna yeah, go see yeah. a movie today, and then I took a nap. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how that goes. What were you gonna see? I was gonna see Hostels. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard that was good. Because that looks really good. Yeah. And I don't Mm -hmm. think that'd be something Jenny would be into. Mm -hmm. No. So. so. Oh, I don't even know all these movies you people are saying. (laughs) That's how (laughs) in the dark I am. Like, Like, okay. Well, over the holidays, we were finally able to see a couple family movies with Piper. And and, um, I I will say, so we saw Coco. And the last Jedi like all Coco, together. What is that? <laughs> it's the Pixar. new Pixar. It's the latest Pixar movie, man. It's incredible. It's so good. But you know what? The other sleeper, and it it's been given amazing reviews. Paddington Two. If you didn't see the first one, it was awesome. But this one is really good too. Really great story. Good family movie. Go take take all the kids and go see it. It's really awesome. Yeah, I read nice. a really good review on it. I really enjoyed it. It's really good. <laughs> Paddington. Paddington. <laughs> Paddington I'm looking Bear. it up. You know Paddington Bear from your childhood, Chris? No, he doesn't know Paddington Bear. Oh, man, I knew Paddington Bear. I didn't know him Let's from my see. childhood. Uh, I feel like I recognize this bear from the picture I'm seeing, but I, I don't remember if I saw anything with it. I just feel like I've seen this image before. So mm-hmm. there you go. Hmm. All right, well, let's get to our final question. Eric Green, <clears throat> this is a good one. At the Art of Bacon, hypothetical. Your wife cooks something so nasty you can't eat it. You have a family dog that would love to have it. Do you feed it to the dog and pass it off as you ate it? Or do you eat it anyway and tell her it's amazing? No, you eat it and tell her it's gross. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd just be honest and be like, I'm not really feeling this. And yeah. Sarah Stacey and I have so much gross. different tastes. Yeah, she's not <laughs> she's not going to be offended. She's going to be like, well, yeah, you don't yeah. know what good stuff Lauren's is. Lauren's the same yeah, way. She'd be like, this is gross, Did you say Sarah right? wouldn't know it was gross? No, she would know. She would know. Oh, like, she's okay. definitely cooked things, and we've been like, <laughs> yeah. uh, let's let's go to Burger King. Cause yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, Stacey's a pretty good cook, and if she makes something that she likes but I don't, obviously the issue's with me, <laughs> you know? <Yeah. laughs> and right. she knows, she's clearly, like, you got clearly. some weird taste sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so... Yeah. She wouldn't be like offended. She'd just be like, well, that's, you know, it's you. And I'd be like, okay, mm-hmm. cool. All right. Yeah. You yeah, can I, starve I, if you want. Jenny doesn't get her feelings hurt that easy. She knows I love her. Yeah. You know right, what I'm saying? So right. if I'm like, but I also, it's all in the, listen, Art of Bacon. It's all in the way you present yourself. Yes. Yeah. If you're like, if you're like yeah, this is gross. Nasty. Why what do you, you do that? You trying right. to kill me? Work. Are you trying to kill me? Yeah. You're not going to get a good response. Yeah. That's funny. Good questions. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, everybody, for all the questions. Appreciate it. Yeah. The question of the week for you guys, a little weird. It's semi-gaming because it's what you're gaming on. But what kind of phone do you use? What smartphones are you guys using? We know that Apple and Samsung run the game pretty much. I think we're probably three to one on this podcast. But I think that it wouldn't be as that lopsided when it comes to the community i think I we're two guess. and two on the podcast yeah we're we're split even I feel oh like are it. we yeah. yeah i think so oh well let's find out um, ed yeah, what are you rocking out. i've got the samsung galaxy nice chris iphone iphone 10 Ooh, do you like it Ooh, yeah is it awesome yeah i mean i i really enjoy it i mean i don't know how to compare i haven't used any i've been i've had an iphone since the first one in 2007 and I was just like sure there's this that and whatever that's good on the other side but it's like this works great for me so I yep, just stick yeah. there and I'm everything you, I have man. like it works so well because I live in the Apple world so it all plays so nicely together I'm just like man yeah there's just yeah, no man. reason for me to leave yet yeah man ditto that. ditto mm-hmm. that brother I'm right there with you I have the seven right now sick I'm with nice. Ed man Samsung Galaxy I love this nice. man we're split there you go. this is good I didn't know you had a Samsung Ed I yeah, don't dude. know why I thought you had an iPhone. I feel no, like I knew I knew he was Android. And I, I feel like I knew it was Samsung. I just, I, I maybe I just assume when someone says they have an Android something, I'm like, oh, you probably got a Samsung, <laughs> right. you know? Because <laughs> outside yeah. of the Pixel, it's like feels like everybody's got that. Yeah, I yeah. really want the Pixel too. It looks kind of yeah. cool. 
It's the first phone in a long time that I've been like, ooh, I really want that, that phone. phone does look yeah. sexy. That definitely, yeah, it looks And good. the pictures coming out of that thing are crazy. I've been watching so many reviews of really? it, you know, battling the iPhone and the Samsung phones. Yeah, it's, I can say, like, I use mine, mo- I shoot a lot of pictures, a lot of video and whatnot. I, I do think that the Pixel 2 has a better camera even than the iPhone 10. I mean, iPhone 10's no slouch. But no, it's not. The Pixel 2 is better. Mm. It is. Like objectively, th- it just is. I think so, and I don't have that phone. Yeah, mm. but uh, they have a. I'm on Sprint, and they're running deals through Verizon, mm-hmm. so I probably won't be getting it anytime soon. Mm. Gotcha. But there you go. It looks awesome. Let us know what you rocking in your pocket. We want to know what you gaming on on the run. I I hope somebody says a flip phone. If I'm being completely that would honest. be amazing. That'd be awesome. I want one be... person to still be rocking the T9 no and Kia. the black and green screen. <laughs> yeah, no <exactly>. Kia. Right. <laughs> well, somebody I got still that have, like, Razor old... phone, Motorola. <laughs> right. Let's next tell this, man. I don't. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's awesome. Episode 281 in the books. Only 19 weeks till episode Dang. 300. Dang, mm, it's gonna, mm, it'll mm, be mm, here mm. before you know it, man. Mm-hmm. Coming on down to Franklinville. <laughs> 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 Thanks, JT. You're welcome. <sighs> and uh, we will talk to you guys next week. Thank you, guys. I have to say I'm on the road. These guys bend their schedules so that we can do this. So I appreciate you guys. I couldn't have done the show this morning. And it gets harder the, the further west I go. <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm, sure it will. I'm like in the last city we're going to be on central time zone, it feels like. Um, so appreciate you guys, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. And Ed, thanks for editing yeah, <laughs> in <maybe>. advance. Yes. <laughs> God well, I'll at you, you guys next week. I'm Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That is Chris McCracken. You can probably hear my, my jacket as I'm getting my point on. <laughs> and get your we point on go are married to the games and we are up out this day oh i'm sorry neighbors in the hotel Peace! Rolling test one, two, two, two. Open this <laughs> Check up in the place. Check up in the place. What? Pop filter.